hot comic book movie news shooting up your butthole. The Weekly Planet, The Weekly Planet. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday, and with me, as always, is my co-host, Nick, Nick Mason, is that right? Is that my saying that right? You are saying it absolutely right, James. You've nailed it. It's good to... Had to happen eventually. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Hello, James. And hello, everyone out there in Tinseltown, a city where anything can happen. And, and, <laughs> Turns and, out. And, and frequently does. <laughs> am I uh, right? Do you like this new guy? No. Fake Hollywood guy? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, there's definitely a market for that yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, guy, yeah. but nobody's invested in them. Do you know what I mean? That's nobody's true. Nobody's like, what's fake Hollywood guy up to? Oh, he's doing a guest spot on Entertainment Tonight, is he? <laughs> oh, interesting. Is it the premiere of something I don't care about? That's interesting, you know? Hey, I'm here at the premiere <laughs> of something no one cares about. <laughs> it's great to be here, I think. And let me tell you, some of the stars have bothered to show up. <laughs> Because it's a Tuesday. If I had the capability to feel any kind of emotion, it'd probably be excitement. <laughs> is that an emotion? I don't know. <laughs> All I feel is the gnawing need to be famous myself. What for? This. Mm-hmm. Anyway, good luck to that guy. You know right? who you are. Yeah. There's a million of you. I prefer this. It's pretty just, good, right? Just weird, aggressive. Yeah. You know, uh, I don't know. Like, there, there's personality, but, like, what is it and why? No one knows. There's a lot of backstory, but, like... It's not that interesting. I thought you were going to say there's a lot of backstabbing, but it's not oh. that interesting. <laughs> yeah, well, there's that too. Mm. Anyways, uh, here at the Weekly Planet, of course, uh, we've dedicated this month and the next to Month Beers. Month Beers continues, uh, yeah. And we will, if you do want to skip to that, there are time codes below because, of course, Rob Collins, who does the edit, mm. was saying, and some people might be, they're excited, I can't wait to get there. That's so you right. can do that. And people might be wondering, are we finished with Month Beers after we do a big Morbius episode? No. No. Month beers continues. Have you? Uh, can you imagine being finished with month beers? I can't. I can't imagine a life without <laughs> month beers. Really. Yeah. But uh, you know, that being said, I'm going to have to step out of the month beers bubble just briefly because next week, if you're oh. if, you, if you're listening to this right now on the, on Sunday the 10th of April at 8:45 p.m. in Melbourne, yeah, uh, I will be appearing live uh, with our pals over at Do Go On. They're doing a series of live podcasts at the same time as, but not affiliated with. Melbourne Comedy Festival. That's so right. I'm going to be there at the European Beer Cafe. If you go to their Instagram, do go on pod, uh, there's some links and you can buy a ticket for that. They also have a uh, uh, actually associated with the Comedy Festival, uh, do go on a trivia show, which is a bunch of shows where they're going to oh, do, wow. they're going to run like a, uh, that Dave has a background in trivia. Yes, he does. Like yeah. fun trivia shows. At the he's, got a Festival. Fun, he's got a fun origin story. He and, sure does. You know what I mean? Of backstabbing and. <laughs> <laughs> the like, doesn't he? And a band called Weed Hornet. Yes, all of those things. <laughs> he does, and and, and, a, and a nick, yeah, and a nickname that he gave himself, Cobra. But <laughs> apart from all of those things, he used, to, he used to do like fun trivia shows in the comedy festival. So they're bringing that back, and it's going to be like they're going to do like a do go on report, but oh, it's wow. also going to be uh, it's also going to be like fun trivia for the audience. I don't know if that's sold out. I don't know what's sold out. I don't yeah. know what's going on. But uh, if if uh, you want to uh, pop in and watch the show, say hi. I link, will be links, popping links in. Are, uh, links available. I'll be. I'm, I'm going to one of those shows. Terrific. Somebody I know has booked me into one of those do go on shows Someone you not know. to be on yeah, yeah to go nice i don't i don't know which one so maybe you'll see me my my gray head bobbing around in the All audience right. trying to trying to trying to like get invited up on stage i'll still focus yeah 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 <laughs> well james maybe yeah. maybe i'll fall sick on the day mm. and your dream will come true you, you know like rock star style where the like, Mark Wahlberg is, movie? Is there anybody in the audience who can do a podcast <laughs> where somebody else provides all the information and you occasionally chip in? Half the hands go up. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not getting, I'm not getting picked, am I? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, but then it'll be back to month beers, obviously. That's right, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we've got this is the news of the week if you do want to skip Terrific. around. Uh, we, of course, we're going to do a little bit of an Oscars uh, this and that, oh, I yeah. guess you could call it. It's time for Oscars yeah. this and that. We. We are normally, not normally, like we don't record, we don't like base a show around the Oscars. Like we, we could have waited, but, you know, nothing ever happens. But this year something happened. <laughs> something happened, yeah. And we have to address it, even though it's got nothing to do with this. Uh, Bruce Willis news, not great news, but we'll mm. get to that. Ezra Miller news, again, not great news for different reasons. Certainly not great news for the uh, the um, the studio that's bringing you the Fantastic Beasts, the new <laughs> Fantastic Beasts, because they're, you know, whatever you think about it, yeah. uh, they, they were like, who finally dodged that Johnny Depp bullet. <laughs> now it's plain sailing for us over at Fantastic Beast Enterprises. Yeah, that's right. Oh, no. Oh, no, what have we done? Uh, it prequel news. Ooh. Mission Impossible news. Uh, delays but not dismays from Star Ooh. Wars stuff. The Crow is back. Oh, 
Yes. And then, of course, straight into month beers. By straight, I mean after all of these things. Yes. Anyway, let's start off with uh, the slap that will echo across all of eternity. Now, of course, you're, talking about, that you're talking about the Christos Ch- 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 Chalkis book, The Slap. I am, and the, the, the subsequent series. There's the Australian how, series and there's the US series, yeah, both yeah. of which maybe have Melissa George. That's terrific. Probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just a, a suburban slap yeah. felt around the world. Let me, t- let me tell you this, James. Yeah. Let me tell you this. It felt like it was going to be echoing around the world as it happened, but a mm. week out, that's true. <laughs> let me let me tell you this, James. Yeah. You, you would know this about me, but I feel I should tell the listeners as well. Were I uh, an icon of cinema, mm. you know, a household name, I've brought in billions of dollars at the box office, yeah. you know, and, and I've spent the last, conservatively speaking, quarter of a century honing my, my public image and, and all my choices of movies so that I might one day win <laughs> the, the, you know, my industry's highest award, the Oscar, yeah. and then 15 minutes before that was due to happen... <laughs> Uh, of someone I know, a famous comedian in front of millions of people, made fun of like my wife's physical features. Mm. I would simply not react. Yeah, that. But I'm built. I mean, I think it's I something think. that you know you you could have. You would be. We talked about unsuggestible. Claire mm. and I did a forty minute episode. <laughs> That's terrific. About. I think it's something you have every right to be upset about. Mm. You know what I mean? And you know, but James, no, no, you're not listening. Oh. I simply <laughs> wouldn't be upset, and I simply wouldn't react. I'd simply be above it all, <laughs> even though probably. You know, it's the most tense I've ever been in my life. <laughs> yeah, and sure. everybody around the entire world is watching and I know that the entire yeah, yeah, world yeah. is watching. I simply simply would would uh, would just would it just brush past me like it was nothing, like, I think. Like a like a like a I was gonna say brisk wind, but not even. Mm. A gentle breeze. Just a gentle breeze, like yeah. it was nothing, yeah. I mean look. Well, I again I've talked about this extensively and I'm sick For of it. For people who don't and know. Sick of it. Oh yeah, recap. I wrote here recap. There no, you go. Do a recap. Uh, um Chris Rock, uh comedian Chris Rock. Went up on stage at the Oscars, made some jokes about Jada Pinkett Smith's yep. uh, alopecia. Well, he uh, apparently he didn't know she had alopecia and thought she just oh shaved just shaved her head. head. Okay, right. Uh, according to him, and I would say that's probably true because he seemed very confused about uh, oh, well, see, afterwards, right. and it was like it was a GI Jane joke, like what happened. I but see. again, I don't know. It's just rich yeah. people slapping each other. And then, well, well, see, that's the thing. Yeah. That, is, that is the core of it. I mean, we've seen we've seen a million trillion hot takes this week about yeah. what it means for society and people and relationships and yeah. what have you. But ultimately, I feel personally, it's it's two men with a combined worth of probably half a billion dollars, <laughs> and and they had a little spat. Yeah, uh, I don't. Just, just a couple of weirdos, and you should, and you shouldn't slap people. I think you shouldn't make fun of people's physical features, or, or or commit physical violence on people. Sure, those are like, two. again, because I'm the sensible sense. You James. wouldn't do anything at the time, would you? Wouldn't need to because I wouldn't feel the need. I would have. Re- I'm so zen. I'd re- remove myself. Like I think I've actually done it right because I wasn't involved at all. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? you, you took yourself out of the situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So look, apparently, it's a whole other level actually. That's... <laughs> Now, apparently also Will Smith was maybe asked to leave, but maybe that wasn't true, Mm -hmm. like the Academy conferred. And I'd imagine they went, what does this mean? Because they knew he was going to win. Yeah. What does this mean for ratings? What's the pushback if we kick him Mm -hmm. out? You know, if we, like if if he wins and he can't accept it, what does that look like? But we know he's winning. So what does that look like if he does get up and make a a speech? And also... uh... If his entire goal of his career was to win an Oscar, and I feel like it kind of, yeah, he, kinda he's was. been doing it for like since Ali at the very after, least. After he's won it, it doesn't matter what happens. Yeah, like they, they could, if they were like, listen, uh, you have won, but due to your, uh, or, or uh, your, your, your conduct tonight, we, we cannot in good conscience. We are rescinding it in good conscience. Yeah, they still voted for him, didn't they? That's, <laughs> still counts, well, that's right. Still counts as a win. So Chris Rock. Uh, I mean, he also Will Smith issued a public apology. Mm-hmm. Chris Rock. Did he retired not press... from the the Motion exactly. Picture Academy because they and were sciences. like weighing up, like, well, what do we do? Do we take back his Oscar? Do we take him out of the Academy? He stepped away. Chris Rock didn't mention in his shows. He had some shows yeah. on. He's like, I'm still processing this. So I'm, you know, I got to kind of think my way through this mm. before, you know, opening up about it, which makes sense. Instead, I'm going to talk about the big piece of chicken. <laughs> Big piece of chicken. Yeah, be able to have a joke about a big piece. Oh, of I don't chicken. know that. I don't that's, know that joke. I just remember bits about him, you know, yelling about his wives or other people's wives, <laughs> not about Will Smith. You know what I mean? Yeah. And maybe they're doing too much shopping. I don't know. Mm. I haven't watched Chris Rock in like twenty that's years, true. so mm. I don't know. But um, I mean, women, when, do, women do be shopping. That's true. But I also be shopping, so wow, I can't throw stones, can I? You, do you enjoy breaking gender norms? Yeah, is that something you love doing? Yeah. Shattering barriers? Yeah, it's freaking sick, man. <laughs> Cool. Anyway, but I just feel different. Well, that's as, as true. As already established. I would so. simply remove myself from shopping or not shopping. Well, I would not participate. Wow. I would not commit a firm stance. 
Uh, there's also, I don't know, I don't think it'll happen, but talk of, like, whether they're going to take back his Oscar. Uh-huh. But, like, once you open that door... Mm. Why don't we start doing? Why don't we? Why don't we look around? Let's at the look history at the history of of of, of the the men, <laughs> exclusively men who've been given Oscars, and see how many probably should yeah. be have them taken away for various conducts. And they could definitely shield that behind, like, well, this happened on the night, so that's different. Right? Okay. Well, yeah. If that's the case, like, that's weak as piss. I don't it's... think they'd go down that route, but mm. who knows? I don't know. I'm, again, I'm over it at this point, yeah. and mm-hmm. I remove myself. Even that's, further. I'm taking even a, that's a, very brave. a bigger step that's back. That's so brave. That's yeah. so brave. I agree. Anyway, let's do some good Oscar news. Okay. There was a Lifetime Achievement Award for Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, the, I mean, I, I, so, was, <laughs> oh, this, look. I know, that's not why I bring it up. You know but, my favourite thing about, you know, there were so many favourite things. This, I mean, it certainly got people. I started watching it. certainly got eyes on the Oscars, didn't it? Timothy but, Chalamet wore like a suit but with no shirt underneath, wow. just shirtless with a jacket. Yeah. And I bet his publicist or his stylist or whoever was like, you are going to be the talk of the Oscars this year. <laughs> Nobody's going to be able to talk about anything else than the, than the yeah. daring wardrobe choice you've made. And, then, and I can just imagine him like after the Oscars just shivering out the front yeah. waiting for his car service to I'm get there. I'm cold for like, no reason. Oh, what a Am mistake. I British? Yeah. Is he? Probably. No, he's American, but he lived in France for a while. Wow. Mm-hmm. Too Terrible! Oh, what a what a terrible combination. <laughs> sure. Remember the remember the Iraq War? They didn't agree on that, did they? Freedom fries. Oh, do you think he was really torn in that era? I think he was. Oh, I don't think he was born then. <laughs> what uh, are we talking about? Sam oh, Jackson. So, can you a, tell me? I didn't even know this. Yeah, but he, but achi- he he got an award, right? He, he, re- he received what is essentially a lifetime achievement award. It was it was given to him by Denzel Washington. Yeah, and it was just a real emotional, like a beautiful thing. Astounding, he hadn't got one. But yet, it was yeah. off. It was like it wasn't in the regular telecast. It yeah. was just kind of like it was. It, they shoved it off with like the, the in the alley, the the pro, the yeah, alley. like the pro, like the pro, you know all the the, yeah. the the crew awards and the production awards yeah. and stuff where that's like Ugh. so like the idea that they cut a bunch of stuff to save time it didn't even work. Even if you factor in the yeah. Will Smith Chris Rock thing, it it still went longer than any yeah, other did, yeah. any other rock. Like certainly longer than last year's. Yeah, I, look, and I think the Academy needs to lean into like film nerds. And again, I talked about this on Suggestible, but they're trying to be like relatable and be like, oh, there's so many Marvel movies, blockbusters. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. And it's like just. Look, you all love movies and Hollywood glitz and glamour and you all love patting each other on the back. Mm. Just do that. There was a lot of You don't need to reach yeah. out to the common people. There was a lot of like <laughs> there was a lot of jokes about Marvel movies and there was a lot of jokes about like Power of the Dog. I couldn't even understand the Power of the Dog. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get that? Pretty pretty straightforward there. I yeah. don't know I don't know what kind of movie you want. Well, I I I haven't seen it, but it's the dog that shoots a big laser from its mouth, isn't it? Yeah, it's it? Laser Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. That was the power Why of the dog. Why didn't they call it Laser Dog? Well, cuz that was the mystery cuz at the start of the movie you know the dog has a power. But, what but is what's it? the power of the dog? And you think it's like love maybe or I can do a big jump. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like and maybe dunk a basketball. But it does, but it does all those things <laughs> yeah. and then we all So like, you think the power was you've seen it yeah, all. Yeah, and then then but every time Benedict comes Cumberbatch looks to the camera and he goes, but that wasn't the power of the dog. Oh, shit. You're right, and you have to keep wondering what the power of the dog is, but then it's the giant laser. <laughs> so it's interesting because... <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Well, yeah, because, like, you know... it's the fake outs that You'd only people. not know what the power of the dog was if you didn't finish it. Yeah. That would keep... I haven't seen it. You would have, I have seen it actually, but you know, that would keep me watching yeah, exactly. to see what the big power yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Anyways, there also uh, there was hashtag the Oscar cheer moment. Yeah. And this is where Zack Snyder wins big. Well, he won twice, didn't he? He did, yeah. He won for. He won because he's rich. What's the second thing? Well, The People's Choice, which yep. was the best movie of last year, which was Army of the Dead. Yes. Uh, and look, I didn't like it. And you liked it. I thought it, it was fine, yeah. I thought it was fine. And look, it's it's. I, I'm glad people got some enjoyment out of it. We yeah. did discuss it on the podcast, mm. but um, I would say if you thought it was the best movie of last year, like you the best movie, you I would seen Laser Dog. I would, you will absolutely, and I would say if I, I implore you, treat yourself to a second movie. <laughs> just anything is wow, yeah, yeah, just really? anything is fine. Okay. But yeah, the the bigger the biggest one I think was that the uh, I mean these these bo- these awards were both specifically engineered so that fans could vote yep. in. Spider Man uh, No Way Home as the, as the best the best movie of last year and get some mm-hmm. recognition for that thing that already made a billion dollars. Yep, and uh, I got to respect the Snyder fans for for voting that in. That's the thing. I feel like I mean I'd forgotten about this, and we mentioned it when they opened it up. And I'm like, oh, well, Spider Man will win it or whatever. I assume, mm-hmm. but you can't underestimate that fandom because they will not let a thing go. Oh, that's true. I, I didn't. I I should have known. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? They're the only one who could sustain caring about something yeah. for that long. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, you, like again, the, the you know, the box office was big for Spider-Man No Home, but that doesn't necessarily translate to people who are like, I am going to vote. You got to you got to vote, like, multiple times a day for yeah. several months or something I mean, like realistically, that. it should be just, like, what sold the most tickets because that would be the most one-to-one. It's true, yes. Like, comparison, yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I mean? Mm. But then again, what, what do you do for streaming? I guess that's not really but, fair. But I, I think know. these two awards illustrated to me, and I think people said this, that like whoever produces the Academy Awards, is they're, they're, they're an older demographic mm. and, and this is their attempt to pander like the, the, to, to younger people. And, I, and my feeling is, they, this, is a, this is a sign they should get younger people into brainstorm for this sort of thing, not because they did these awards, but because they didn't do them hard enough what they should have done is they should have done a video montage they should have got a bunch of like filmmakers film historians movie critics oh Uh, us yeah us us. well yeah throw us in why not we can do it i was gonna say people with some like presence and some passion for movies and stuff hi i'm a guy who just made this at this movie premiere and i just some people ask me what my favorite movie is and i say cinema you know (laughs) I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you my favorite one because I don't have any preferences. <laughs> I just, I finish talking to the red carpet and then I just go home and I sit in a chair until it's time to go to sleep. <laughs> Not even an armchair or a lounge chair, just a, just a wooden backed chair. <laughs> Sometimes I stare at static. I, uh, I'm all, I've always got my hands on my hips, no matter what I'm doing. But what they should have done? No, they sh- I'm holding a microphone with one hand on the hip. That's sorry. right. What they should have done is they should have got a bunch of these people, some people who've got like some presence and you go, oh, that's, I see that charisma. Yeah. And then you should get them all to bring to the table. You should film them, bring to the table some moments where they're like, in your storied career, what you do, like here's, tell us some great moments where you felt like really felt something and like, you know, some joy and you wanted to stand up in your chair and clap, Yeah, yeah. you know, from any time in cinema and then once they've done that, and you show some clips and you show some context, or whatever, so people who haven't seen them know. And then individually, you sh- you tell each of them that tens of thousands of people on the internet decided that the best movie moment of all time <laughs> was when the Flash entered the Speed Force <laughs> in Zack Snyder's Justice League and just film the reaction because that's because that would be my cheer moment, yeah, James, yeah, my yeah. ultimate cheer. Because this is again, this isn't this one isn't for just this year. It was for all time. Was it? So from does that mean they're not doing? Doing it again? Yeah, they can't. <laughs> but, but like, the time is I mean, they're not going to do it again anyway because <laughs> this was a disaster. But like, from from time from train pulling out of a station or into a station or whatever it was from now, like people are like, this is the best thing that's ever I happened. I thought it was just twenty twenty one. I did everything. not know that. It, it also include doesn't it, it include an end game and some other stuff? Oh, the hammer thing. I should. Yeah, or something. Anyway. Wow. Uh, oh no! It was all the portals opening in Endgame. I think yeah, yeah. so. That's yeah. It was all time. So uh, and then, but that my my the, my standing up in my chair and cheering would be just a bunch of auteurs and and, and film critics going. I don't know if I saw that. Is that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. Is that? Oh, was was that? I'm actually the, a bit. Was, I've been. I'm out of the loop. I'm out of the <laughs> loop. If I'm honest. Yeah. I'm a bit out of the loop. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Be good, right? Uh, I'm. I'm just excited to. Um, just talk about cinema. Talk about Bruce Willis. Mm. And by excited, I mean this isn't fun at all. <laughs> that being yeah. said, just before we get into that, um, any Oscar winners you were like, they've nailed that, or any Oscar winners you nah, like? No, I don't. Um, I, I didn't. I only engaged with it after the thing happened. Sure, sure, and sure. I'm not sure. going to watch it next year, even though <laughs> it's right. like, well, anything could happen. Yeah. But like, that's not going to happen again, is it? Some people said probably it was bring a him stage out together. Slap. I don't think so. Okay. And if it was like. Okay, well done, I guess. <laughs> got us. Yeah, you got, got me. Us. You got me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah no, the, the, you're right. The only thing they might do next year is if they've patched it up, they'll present an award together. Yeah. And they'll make some slapping jokes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's comedy. That is comedy. Here's something that's not comedy. Uh, oh. Bruce Willis is retiring from acting yeah. uh, for health reasons. Uh, mm-hmm. There was a family statement via Rumor Willis, mm-hmm. one of his kids. Uh, but I won't read the whole thing, but I'll, I'll read an excerpt of it. To Bruce's amazing supporters... As a family, we wanted to share that our beloved Bruce has been experiencing some health issues and has been recently diagnosed with aphasia. Is that how you say? Because I don't think I've actually said it out loud. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, which is impacting his cognitive abilities. As a result of this, and with much consideration, Bruce is stepping away from the career that meant so much to him. As Bruce always says, live it up, and together we plan to do just that. Now, like, we've addressed this, like, 
I don't know, the last year or so about what is going on. We have made some light fun of the movie <laughs> yeah. choices Bruce Willis but has I th- made. But then it got to a point where, I don't know, like six months ago where we started to hear some things, nothing yeah. concrete. I See, see, I read mm. this recently that it was it was an open secret that he had aphasia, mm. but that's still a secret, so we didn't know. Yeah. Like we, well, I, I oh, think, I don't think anybody's coming at us. No, <laughs> like, no, that's yeah, true. But, I, you know, I, I you know... Uh, you know, I, I think we 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 shan't be. Uh, we I don't think we feel bad necessarily for making light of uh, some of his movies. Oh, no, choices. it's just a terrible but, situation. But we didn't. Yeah. We wouldn't have made. We would, had we known, we nah. wouldn't have made fun of him. Yeah, I I just hope though in these like he wasn't being taken advantage of in these situations. Yeah, right, right. You know? Like if he was happy to be there and he was like, you know, this is you know this is impacting me and I want to look after myself and my family. Mm. You know, he's only sixty seven right. as well, which is like that's. He's got, he's got a lot – he could have, hope, like, you know, yeah, right. a lot of time ahead of him. But, yes, I, I just – it's just – it's really sad, you yeah. know. And if you look at his career, like, obviously, <laughs> removing, like, the last couple of years, mm-hmm. so much good stuff, you know yeah. what I mean, for, like, 40 years. That's true. You know, and he was one of the few people who transitioned from – uh, moonlighting TV to, to moonlighting. He was to one of the movies. two, the <laughs> two actors who, who went from moonlighting to movies. That's right, exactly. Just him and Sybil Shepherd, who was yeah. in some movies, presumably, and then some, t- then some TV as well. Yeah, but yeah. So, I, I, I mean, I guess we're not going to really, really be seeing him much again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I assume, unless there's some kind of you know treatment that works. But as far as I can tell, it's just like a thing that yeah, yeah, yeah. continues to affect you. And, and I think this this probably explain like you know we have we have talked about the mystery of Bruce Willis and why he does these movies, and yeah. I think it is. Probably something along the lines of, well, if he knew he wasn't going to be doing movies for much longer, yeah. why not take a bunch of paid? Like if, if you know your 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 job isn't going to be continuing yeah. after a certain amount of time, why not, you know, do do $8 million movies? Absolutely. That's eight days work. And yeah. that's, you know. And we also don't know, like, how long has he known? You yeah. know what I mean? Like maybe he was in decline and they didn't know what was up. You know what I mean? Like, hmm. so who knows? Because he was doing, like... You know, I don't know when Expendables 2 came out and, you know, it was in one of the G.I. Joes and he obviously did, what was the one, um, the sequel to Split? Oh, Glass. Split Glass, yeah. And I'd imagine he would have been, like that would have been in the, you know, in the mm. time, you know, that it was known. So anyway, he won't hear this and neither with his family, but we wish, oh, wish them well, yeah. Do Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson have any scenes together in Pulp Fiction? I don't think so, no. No. He shoots, he, killed, John Travolta, he shoots John Travolta, yeah. But okay. no, I don't believe so because I think one of them spoilers. Would have, yeah, one of them would have killed the other. I'd imagine That's in true, the movie. Yeah. You know, it was a weird moment in the Oscars What's that? when John Travolta and uh, Uma Thurman came out with Samuel L. Jackson to present Best Actor uh-huh. after Will Smith just slapped somebody, right. and they're just like, "Remember Pulp Fiction? We're doing a little dance," <laughs> and it's like, "What is what?" Don't, you don't have to do this. You weren't even in that scene, Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> well, he didn't do the dance. Oh, he was okay, just standing good. there, like oh, I do remember this. <laughs> there's just a, there's just a, uh, like a, like a brief glimpse at, the, at side of stage before they go on, where Travolta's like pointing and shouting at him, just like you do. You, when you, when we go on stage, you do not, you do not do the dance because you were not in that scene. Don't do it. <laughs> don't make, don't make there be a second slap at the Oscars. That's- uh, yeah, so this is why. Here's some other terrible news. Wow. Oh, come it's a on, terrible mate. news day. Finally. Oh, wow. And it, I mean, and, and in month beers of all. I know, of right? All... The most joyous, whatever amount of time this has been and <laughs> yeah. will continue to be of this, the year. Uh, this initial report is via Hawaii News Now, but local police charged the Flash's uh, Ezra Miller mm. with disorderly conduct and harassment. The 29-year-old was allegedly yelling obscenities and became agitated when people began singing karaoke. This is at a, a local bar. Mm-hmm. Uh, Miller grabbed the microphone from a 23-year-old woman who was mid-song. Police said Miller later lunged at a 32-year-old man playing darts. Miller was arrested, charged, and released after posting $500 bail. And you think, like, well, that's not a great story. Mm. And also, wasn't there a time when they, like, choked a woman on camera and nobody at the studio addressed that and everything just moved forward? Did yeah, that, that not is, also that happen? still a weird mystery, that, that whole thing. <laughs> well, it's, not a, it's not a mystery in terms of, like, it wasn't a joke, it wasn't a prank. Mm. It, it was, was a, a choke. choking. Mm. Jokes, not jokes. No, I agree. No, I, no I, I'm opposite. Yeah, I got you. Opposite. Mm, I got you. Opposite, Mason. Okay, fine. Thank God I yelled opposite. That's then. true. Uh, But it doesn't end there because Miller has also been issued a restraining order after allegedly threatening and stealing from a couple uh, they'd been staying with after they bailed Ezra out of jail. So they put up the $500 Mm -hmm. and they'd apparently met at a farmer's market and were like, you know, 
and they were like, hey, what? what Let's what, have what? fun adventure Let's, times. Yeah, why don't you come and stay okay. with us? So according to the court document uh, filed, Miller burst into their bedroom and said, I will bury you and your slut wife. The actor is said to have stolen a wallet, social security card, passport, driver's license, and bank cards. Wow. Normal stuff. Normal stuff. Yeah. Well, I was, I was saying, like, uh, thinking earlier, if you... If, you get a you get a weird theater kid. You mm-hmm. put him in the Hollywood machine. Yep. You either get Timothy Chalamet or you get Ezra Miller. Mm. There's only the two options. There's really. only two options. If only there was a middle ground, a sensible middle ground, like a Munez or a Timothy Chalamet, mm. which is the better option of the two. I, think. <laughs> I agree. So look, clearly something is going on mental health wise. Mm. You know, because I feel like I don't want to jump. It's ter- like, what are you doing? Mm. You know what I mean? But obviously. They're not well to they be doing not. things like this. And of all weeks, month be yes. Month be yes. But also Fantastic Beasts is out this mm, week. Yeah. And there's a Flash movie just sitting on the shelf. It sure and is. guess who happens to be the main person twice? Me? No, oh. Mason. I'm in twice. it. Twice. No, oh. Mason. Stop it. Oh, wow. Twice in that movie. There's, there's two of them. Oh, there is. Unless one of them is a, a fake out. Sure. But probably not. Probably not. Mm. I guess, do, do you think Warner Brothers are going to do literally anything? No, because they haven't really done anything else regarding any other Justice League or no. that sort of spin-off stuff. I'd imagine they're probably not going to do something for Fantastic Beasts, but if something happens between now and The Flash, they're going to have to at least say something. Yeah. But I don't think they can be removed from The Flash because there's <laughs> two of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Unless there's a lot They more... should have already recast. Like, yeah. it shouldn't have got this far, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. They, I mean, and maybe this movie has a lot more Batman than we think, and it's really... I, I mean, God, you'd hope I so. wonder if there's enough... <laughs> I wonder if there's a scope. I wonder if there's enough, like... There, you know what? There are 100%. There's somebody in a in a in a editing bay somewhere who's been given the task. Can you turn this into a Batman movie? <laughs> yeah. Just like Batman Flashpoint. Yeah. And then they write Flash really small. Flash really small. Underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, Batman Flashpoint Flash release. Really yeah. So, you know, I don't have any faith in, like, them making any kind of positive moves mm. or any kind of repercussions or anything. But, you know, you can't keep ignoring this. You know what <laughs> I mean? There's going – I think we're going to stop seeing Ezra Miller in things after The Flash. Agreed, There's yeah. going to be a – Shia LaBeouf style fading out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe, yeah. maybe, uh, maybe an att- no. I was going to say maybe an attempted resurgence on like a dystopian game show, like The Masked Singer or something like that, but probably not. <laughs> no, That's for a certain type of I person, mean, and Ezra Miller is not that certain type of person. Yeah, but Ezra Miller would dress up as like Princess Toadstool or something. Remember and be like, I'm a Mario character. Oh uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I don't watch that show, so whatever. <laughs> Do whatever on that show. You know, that's fine with me. The Australian version had George Columbaris in it. Fine with you now, is it, James? Oh, Mason. James? This is all bad news. Celebrity restaurateur and and uh, and uh, host uh, judge on famous, MasterChef. Famous wage th- thief, yeah. <laughs> George yeah. Columbaris. Yeah, that's great news. Thanks, yeah. Mason. No problem. Mm. I would just, just, I just, one day, we, one day we should do a Masked Singer episode is all I'm saying. I've just. What, watch a bunch of it and then yes. talk about it? I don't want and to the Masked Dancer. Oh my god! It's the it's the show. You, How do you dance with a big styrofoam head? Badly. That's the point. Oh, but but just it's just you should watch. I don't know if you watched any of it. I Never, watched the not a I watched second. the entire first season of the Australian version, and it's it's the show. It's a game show you would watch in Ro- the characters would watch in RoboCop. Yeah, like it's that. I like the sequel, like the Hot Tub Time Machine sequel. It's like that kind of yeah game oh, yeah. show. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. Cool. They should have just made. Christian Slater, Christian Slater in that. Just be like, he looks the same and he's hosting the show. Agreed. I don't get it. A lot of missteps in that movie. Mm. You know? Yeah. Hey, here's one bit of news. Mason. I'm ready for this? Just before you do your one bit of news, yeah, I need on. you to know that I've already put this in. All right. So next week you have to bring two bits of news. Oh, no. That's right. These, these add up. Wow. But anyway, give you one bit of news that I know. Well, one bit of news that you already know, James, is that uh, this week some people, they were like, it's time for a fun rewatch of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Who's rewatching Falcon and the Winter Soldier? I think people who just want to, they just want to feel a kinship with the villain because mm-hmm. they do pretty much the right thing the whole way until they just start blowing up like buildings full of orphans or whatever to prove that they're the bad guys. Oh, right, okay. They, they want to do that. But they, they discovered, all these people discovered, that uh, 
one episode was had been pretty heavily edited to remove a lot of the blood and uh, and 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 violence in it. Wow. So for example there's a there's a there's a, a pulse. Somebody gets in in one episode somebody gets like a like a, a metal pipe thrown through their arm but in in this edited version it just bounces off them. Yeah. And there's like a dead body and it's, it's blood thing. It's bloodless and yeah. yeah. So it turn, according to Disney, yeah. They were testing out some uh parental control options. Mm-hmm, you, mm-hmm. They they they're going to offer us um Increased parental controls if you want to show your kids the bloodless version of Falcon the Winter Soldier. Yep. They're making that, and they accidentally uploaded one of those as the standard uh, episode, apparently. Uh, via, Did this happen recently as well with something else? Probably. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. constantly editing and yeah, tweaking yeah. stuff. That's the thing about streaming services. They can, you know, it's like games. You can patch them. That's true. Uh, the Ryan Parker on Twitter said, I hear from a reliable source it was a software control issue and the wrong file was recently published accidentally. It's been corrected immediately. Mm. So people were in a bit of a tiz. They were in a tiz. Out. Yeah, but you know, I've already watched it, so I don't care. Yeah, yeah, true. You delete it all. I'm done. Yeah. I'm done with it. There are some scenes in that show. Like, what are they going to do with, with the part where um, John Walker beheads that dude? What I mean, dude? you don't really see it on screen. That's so. true, but there's a lot of blood. Mm, that's true. Yeah. Wow. I hope he's okay. The the guy who gets killed. Yeah. Yeah, he'll, they'll probably add some ADR line where he's like, I'm fine, actually. I'm fine. Time to go to sleep on the street. <laughs> He knocked me into a beautiful dream. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. We've been doing uh, recaps for Moon Knight. We certainly have, mate. TV so. series Moon Knight. Because it's month night. A lot of people don't know It that. is month night. That's true. And um, we actually received the first four episodes yeah. ahead of time, but we are watching them one at a we're time. We're doing week to week. We're doing week to we're week. Not, we're just like you, the yeah, common people. The common people. Because it's hard to do recaps when you're like, what's going to happen next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's already been... Actually, we know. Yes. We can't, we're, we're not going to do that. We don't want to do that. And so. we would, all the videos would just be like, well, this is going to make sense later, yeah, I think. Yeah, exactly. Because there's already people like, oh, God, wait, wait, do you see this bit in episode whatever? Which I won't say because I haven't seen that episode. That's true. Maybe. So like, yeah, we're just... Uh, I mean, Collins is doing a wonderful edit. And I mean, how can he not? How can he not, Mason? Mm. Who's going to stop His him? job depends on it. Exactly. No, that's not true at all. That's true. He's got so many other responsibilities as well. Yeah. His job depends <laughs> on all of those. <laughs> a good stuff. And, yeah, so that's up. The first one's up now, mm-hmm. and they will continue to go up. It's mm. it prequel news time. Why don't you jog on, yeah, you me. absolute donut, me. and go watch those videos? It's so annoying because that video that went up is uh, is not doing as well as my Morbius post credit scene, oh, which I took see. me like a minute to make. <laughs> and this Morbius recap where there's how's also... The, of... How's the caravan of garbage doing on the losers? Because what I discovered yeah. is that a lot of people don't believe it exists, that movie. <laughs> there's a lot of like, what is this, excuse me? Uh, it's got 184,000 views, so lower than normal. Mm. But Jonah Hex was like the biggest video for the last 10 videos. It's like Jonah Hex is your biggest video of the last ten videos, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I've made what? What? What do you mean? Big? Like it's even with it's like not. It wasn't bigger than Catwoman. I thought Catwoman mm. would be like people love cowboy stuff. That's that turns out that they do. Anyway, Green Lantern this week. So we're yeah, doing around yeah. a garbage, and then maybe just maybe Star Wars prequels. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe just maybe. Uh, it's prequel news. Okay, great. Welcome to Dairy, the show. Mm-hmm. We reportedly focus on the ongoing events of the town of Derry in the 1960s. So nothing. <laughs> no, there's a clown. Oh, okay. As it leads up to the events of It. The prequel series will reportedly also include the origins James, of... James, you, bro- you can breathe. You can pause no, to no, breathe. No, no, I'd had some Coke, no sugar, and it's not sitting well with me. Uh, it also includes the origins of Penny White with the clown. Mm. Uh, director Andy Machete, who directed the two movies, oh. will also help develop the story. Okay, so when is this... So, so... The the, it, the the most recent It movies are set in the present day, but also in the... 80s? 80s? Yeah. Okay. And Pennywise kills people every 30 years. Yeah, with it? a gun. He started with a gun. It's <laughs> nice. Yeah, I got this That's... gun from the shop. <laughs> oh. And I'm just here to shoot some kids. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's great. So this is going to be set in the previous cycle, I guess, of Pennywise I guess so, killing yeah. people. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that's fun. Um, are they getting back one of the Scars Guards? Well, they, Bill yeah, Scars Guard? He is okay. back, yeah. And we have more Scars Guard news this week as well. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I was kind of more interested in seeing a movie of this. But, you know, mm. I like that first movie. Uh-huh. And the second one, like the book and like the previous telly movie, it's not as strong a story as, yeah, the, right, right, right. as the first one. Mm-hmm. But I thought it was a pretty solid, like, all-round, like, adaptation of yeah. that very long and weird book. For sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I... Uh, p- p- Big Stephen King's fan, fans will know this. Uh, yeah, the tall ones. Yeah, the biggest ones yeah. will know because I don't know. Has this has this era been explored I in can the books? I can tell you this. Okay, go on. No. Okay, right. Uh, a li- there's a little bit of hints towards the origin of Pennywise. He's fighting a big space turtle. I yeah, know that that's much. right. Yeah. yeah, and arrived when like in the time of the dinosaurs and just been laying dormant. But maybe they're not doing that. But also there is some 
origin stuff in the movies, uh-huh. but it's mostly like, look at this old photo. It's actually Pennywise, but it, it's all could be all yeah, made right, up right, and whatever. Right, yeah. So anyway, I can't wait to see how he earns enough money to get that gun. How about this? Mm. Uh, Pennywise is back before it. Andy colon Pennywise dinosaur fighter. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what's he turning into to scare a dinosaur? A meteor. We. Because he's got a scary. I mean, he had that. Gun, he has that gun, though, doesn't no, he? No, no, that's in the sixties. Yeah, but who knows when he bought it? Yeah, that's a good point. He has the it? gun in the sixties, but when did he buy it? I thought probably he got, prehistoric. I thought times. he saved up for the gun in the sixties. Oh, with his part-time job delivering newspapers. Yeah, but I actually don't know. And yeah. this is the kind of story that we, we can delve into. Mm. Also, I think eventually. Oh, you know what? He probably kills the dinosaurs with like like a little car that he's made out of dinosaur bones and, oh. and, and, and what have you, and he pedals with his feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he that, crashes into the dinosaurs. That's great. Yeah. That's funny too because he's a clown. Uh, speaking <laughs> oh, of, my God, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's right. Wow. So Bill Skarsgård, mm-hmm. who is maybe the one, the Skarsgård. It is definitely Bill Skarsgård, yes. Terrific. He is also going to be Eric Draven's The Crow, Whoa. according to Hollywood Reporter. We recently did a commentary on this for, on mm. um, Big Sandwich. And as we know, everybody gets a go at being the crow. That's right. That's the expression in Hollywood. Uh, it's, in Tinseltown, where anything can happen and frequently does. And this is what's happened here. Rupert Saunders, who directed both Snow White and the Huntsman and Ghost in the Shell reboot, remake mm. or whatever, is okay. going to direct. Um, I guess those movies did well. Just to say, isn't one of those... Is <laughs> well, Snow White and the Husband, hun, and the, and a husband, Snow White and the husband mm-hmm. got a sequel. Okay. Just the, where it was just Hemsworth. What am I thinking of that had Jeremy Renner in it and he was a monster hunter? Was that Are you thinking of, um, yeah, I know the one that you mean. Hansel and Go to Witch Hunters. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, there you're thinking go. of that. I am. So, yeah, so he's apparently going to be the crow for now, but who actually knows? Mm. Yeah, and also, the, as, as mentioned, that's a big sandwich this week, our private subscription service. There's also a new episode, I think, it, what is it this week, Mason? I can't remember. Let James, me I couldn't up, tell you. Let me bring up my little list and we'll have a little fun time looking yeah, That's together. great. Yeah. Think about the big sandwich. Oh, Time Crapsule, 1946. Oh, my God. We look at all the pop culture of 1946. But also the episodes of um, Moon Knight go up there early. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. Mm. Let me tell you this, James. I love learning about what people found entertaining in, in, in bygone eras. Fascinating. I just – I mean, nothing nothing thus far has be, be, been as, as – uh, as, Speaking of, of crows, mm. uh, nothing thus far has been as exciting as Jimmy the Raven, oh the God. crow that was in a thousand films. Can't but... wait to, for a pot to pop up again. <laughs> it's... Yeah. All right, let's move forward. Okay. This is also via The Hollywood Reporter. Tom Cruise. Whoa, Tom Cruise News. fighting the studio about, News. about a Mission Impossible 7 or 8 release window, whatever the next one is. Yeah, 7 or 8, because Fallout was 6. So okay, yes. there we go. Uh, now, the studio, Paramount, they say, we've got Paramount Plus. Why don't you put them on Paramount Plus, Tom Cruise? We're going to do a 45-day release window, Tom Cruise. Mm. And he's like, actually, no. I'm, oh. I'm do- I want to do a 90-day cinema release, mm. which, is how- which is the old model. Yeah. Uh, and, but, of course, when we were kids, the model was four years. Sure was, was yeah. Four years, and then your uncle would get a tape from someone. <laughs> That's sure, yeah, could, okay, yeah. That's when you can watch something. Mm, yeah. So apparently a source at Paramount told Holly, The Hollywood Reporter, for Cruise, 45 days is like going uh, day and date. He also felt that settling on a date when the movie could be seen on the service would discourage people from going to the theatre. I agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think if you know it's coming yeah. and you're like, oh, it's, what, 45 days? That's fine. I mm. can wait. But if it's like with Spider-Man. They didn't announce it. It was just like only in cinemas. Yeah. See it at cinemas. Mm-hmm. Do you want to see an insane thing? See it at cinemas or whatever. Well, I mean, speaking of insane things, just the idea of all the just barely death-defying things Cruz has probably done on 7 and 8. Yeah. And, and, and just the idea of like, yeah, you know, wake up and, and – Switch your TV on and see it on a kind of a smallish screen yeah. compared to a cinema screen, you know? Absolutely. And I'd imagine Paramount are also weighing up what are we going to get from a one-time a visit to the cinema. You buy a ticket, you mm-hmm. buy a popcorn. Mm. They don't see any of that popcorn in the cinema. Do you know that? I mean, the, the studio. They don't get any of that popcorn. When you purchase a popcorn, oh, that's, that's, any popcorn you don't eat goes in the bin. They don't take it back to that's Paramount. That's pure gravy for the, uh, for the cinema operators. Exactly. Wow, wow, wow. They can eat as much popcorn as they want out of that mm. bin after. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you this, James. Sure. Popcorn with gravy, where are you on it? It doesn't exist. Oh, no. And it would be bad. That's upsetting. But what do you think of it? That's about upsetting. It? I don't like that. You need to eat it with a spoon. That's the problem. I don't want to eat anything with yeah, a spoon, okay. Mason. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Name a thing that I can eat with a spoon. Soup. I'll drink it. Name something else. Ice cream. I'll drink it. So you'll wait till it melts. No, Mason. Okay, great. <laughs> I don't know why I've committed to this thing. I don't know. Yeah. 
Also, th- th- so they're weighing up between, I'd imagine, putting in theatres, get a one-time ticket sale, mm-hmm. or how many people can you get to Paramount Plus? And once you get them on Paramount Plus, they stick you them get around. them every month, maybe, because they mm. forget. Good, what's on Paramount Plus? Uh, the Halo series, Infinite. maybe? Oh, Halo, that, obviously, and the yeah. movie Infinite with, with um, Mark Wahlberg. Mm. And uh, Yellow Jacks is on Paramount Plus if you're I've in already, Australia. I already saw it. Yeah, I saw that already. Yeah. Also, uh, Dexter might be on there. Dexter is probably on there, yeah. yeah. But, again, it really is a case of... Yeah, you know, and it and it is nice for the comedians. I can't remember. I I I looked up something today, and I'm like, oh, it's good to know it's on something that yeah. I have already. So Absolutely. that's good, you know. You know who I realise is still banned from Paramount. It turns out from the screening, uh, the screenings of you, movies. me, because of that thing you did. The thing that I did years yeah. ago, legally. I want to point out yeah. for those people who don't know. You know the movie that thing you do. That's about <laughs> James and the thing he did to so get him banned from Paramount. There was screenings. a Transformers screener for. Age of Extinction, I want to say. Uh, a move, like, we didn't get a copy, but, like... You, no, you no, so, and, and I initially replied and said, yeah, no, I'll come. And then I found out it was playing locally, and also, I think it was before the movie came out as well. And oh, like, okay, so, oh, you, so, you, so you, you came to the conclusion that you weren't allowed to release an early review if you saw the free screening, but if you bought, if you paid for your own tickets, yes. that would be fine. And I also emailed and said, and I didn't sign anything. All uh-huh. I said was like, yeah, no, I'll be there. Mm-hmm. And, um, and so I put out my review and my review was, this, this movie t- sucks. Terrible. Sure. And I got a, like f- frantic and furious emails that are like, you have to, you know, remove mm-hmm. it or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I'll remove it if you want me to. But like, here's my emails. I was, you know, I was pretty clear that I wasn't going to come. I understand like I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll remove it. I don't care. I just I saw this shit. as a regular joke. Yeah. So and and I think I even sent through my ticket. It was like, here's my ticket. I bought it. Um, <laughs> and they went. And I oh. sent it. To, I posted it to myself so you can see the, st- <laughs> the stamp was on the envelope. So <laughs> and they went. And they went. I oh, know. We spoke to the higher ups wherever, and wow. uh, we're just gonna we're gonna um. I got a suspension or something yeah, for wow. like six months, and I didn't notice because nothing came out that I wanted to see. Mm-hmm. So I just hadn't. Bothered no. until like Sonic Two came around. And I'm like, oh my! See if I can get my son to see Sonic Two. And I emailed them, nothing. Wow, blank. And then you, then you pretended. Then you then you coached your son into sending an email himself. <laughs> Hello, hello, please. I want to see Sonic or Elsh. <laughs> so anyway, wow. Well, let, I've I've got Param- I've got the Paramount Plus channel open right now. Mm. And let me tell you, most popular on Paramount Plus recent right now. Halo. Speaking of regular Joes. Oh, my God. G.I. Snake, Joe, Snake Eyes. Oh, we'll squeeze that in this week we'll as well, We'll squeeze, we? squeeze it in by the end of this show. Last bit of news, Mason. Delays but not dismays. Obi-Wan has been delayed. Oh. Two days oh, to May so 27th. Bad. And they're also going to release two episodes on that one day. Terrific Oh, stuff. that's right. I saw. Uh, yeah. Uh, hello there. He was like, hello. How many episodes would you like to see? Three. That's too many. I can do two. Two. At best. But let me tell you, two will blow your balls off. <laughs> You can't handle three. <laughs> We're not even going to release a third episode. They, they, they'd annihilate your balls completely, <laughs> and then you'd never be able to reattach your balls. Wow, that's powerful stuff. Right? Mm. My goodness. It sneaks up on you, doesn't it? You think it's never going to arrive. Mm, like Christmas. Like Christmas, mm. exactly, when Christmas used to mean something. But I, I, but I, even that being said, I even had my, my month BS advent calendar out, and Did every you? day I was taking a chocolate out, <laughs> a bloody chocolate, Well, I want to talk and it, it still snuck up on me. I thought... In honour of, like, we put up a calendar. Last mm. one was No Time to Die because they kept delaying it. Yep. I looked online around for a month beers calendar. Uh-huh. There's no more beers calendars. I can what? Put. There's, like, handmade, like, fan Oh, ones Etsy.com. Or whatever. But I couldn't get an official Sony Morbius calendar. Is that because it's April of 2022 mm. and they've all sold? No, but it is, there seems to be of no – there wasn't ever a version of it. Anyway, wow. we'll talk about more Morbius uh, right now because it had a $75 million budget. Okay. So a bit on the lower end for a comic book movie. Uh, uh, James, Morbius, uh, Amazon.com, Morbius 2022 calendar. We can have it f- delivered free by Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah. Oh, we kind of need it now. Vampire, Morbius 2022 calendar, vampire movie, gift idea, white elephant, secret Santa. What? I don't know. Birthday present, 2022-2023, monthly planner for superhero film fans. Well, this must be new because I didn't know this, Mason. Yeah, I mean, it looks... Does it look real? I mean, it looks real... <laughs> But it also looks, I don't think it's official. Okay, fair enough. Anyways, okay. $75 million budget. It was expected to hopefully make 50 in the US opening week, but it's only going to make between 38 and $41 million. Cinemas are empty from the images that we've been sent. 38 isn't the worst figure I've ever heard. No, it's actually not terrible. Uh, Venom actually made 90, Venom 2 made $90 million, mm. right? Uh, it also has a 17% Rotten Tomatoes score, and it's but a 69% audience score, <laughs> nice. which makes me think like, 
who's 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 doing that? I'm oh, you think it, you think it's you think it's review bombing somehow? I just don't think anybody is like in the corner of this movie. That being said, what do you think the story was? Oh, okay, hang on. All right, so it's, it's Dr. Michael Morby is at your service. Yeah, hello. Uh, and he's, he's a, as a young lad, he's like, oh, I'm all sick and, and that. Yep. But one day I'll do the, the best science there is and I won't be all sick and that. I hope so. And I won't be sick and that and my friend Matt Smith he won't, won't be, be sick. Won't he, won't, be, he won't be sick and that, will he? will be sick and that. Uh, and, uh, and, and we'll and stay friends. We'll stay friends. We'll stay friends. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do some science. I'm going to do some shady science, but I'm Morbius now. Yeah. I've been morbius Morbified. I've been completely morbified. Mm. <laughs> and let me tell you, it's morbifying. Yeah. I'm absolutely morbified. You're absolutely morbified. I'm absolutely morbified yeah. here. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, it's good stuff. Anyway, so one, someone, who knows who, because we'll do non-spoilers, I guess. Uh, starts killing people, and they think it's Doc, Doc, Doctor Dracul Drobius. Mm. But we don't. We as the audience don't think it is him. <laughs> Drop your Drobius. It's Michael <laughs> Morbius. Anyway, that's sheer charisma of this character. Yeah. You know what I mean? God, it's boring. It's so boring. It's short, though, isn't it? Is it? Here's I mean, a, okay. Let me tell you. Let me tell. You, here, here was my. Here was my evaluation of this. I reckon the first forty minutes. Not it's fine. It's fine. It's, it, I didn't. Yep. I didn't even hate it. And I was like, yep, okay, I agree. Whatever you think about. Didn't I say that to you before going in? I'm like, initially you're going to be like, this mm. is actually not that bad. Yeah. Ja- <laughs> like, whatever you think of Jared Leto, if you think he sucks and he does. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, this is a pretty decent performance. I like. There's some interaction. He's pretty low key he's as pretty, well. Yeah. He's pretty. He's not over the top or anything. Yeah. And I feel like him and he's got a, he, he's got a sort of a sort of will they or won't they relationship with like a fellow doctor yep. and I'm like okay that's pretty good and they you know they have a good back and forth yep. and there's some other supporting characters and then after like 40 minutes every minute after that gets exponentially worse mm-hmm. until you get to the post credit scenes for which I think everybody should be sent to prison <laughs> so we talked about last week when we heard like what are these post credit scenes that have made people flip their lid? Because mm. people like the worst thing that's ever happened. Like, it's the worst thing in the movie by far. It's the worst post credit scene I've ever seen. It points to, like, n- a nonsense future that doesn't make any sense. And we're like, what does that look like? Yeah. And- now, initially you were like, I think you were like these, because you saw it in advance of me. So I think yes. initially you were like, these aren't so bad. Well, no, not when you, not on, not on the surface. I mean, they're not good, yeah. but on the surface, it's like, this isn't, the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah, but when, when you, you think, think about, about, it. about it, anyway, we'll, go, we'll get to those later because yeah. we've got to get into the the, the meat of this. But I think, yeah. yeah, after about forty minutes, I reckon I was checking my watch every ten minutes, and then after a little bit, I was checking my watch every five minutes, oh my and God. then I'm trying to think like the t- the ticket said the ticket I bought said when it finishes, and I'm like. Did, did it say it finishes at 9 o'clock yeah. or 9.30? And, and what time did this start? What like, time so did it start? Ads. How many I ads? had the same thought. Yeah. I'm like, I look at my clock and I'm like, oh, okay, so I've been, I think I've been here an hour and a half. No, because it yeah. didn't start on time. But it's definitely a short, but, the, but, but yeah, like at a certain point it gets so like rote and and it's long but it feels rushed. Yeah, it does. The, what 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 I think we we learn, what what I think you, I got what the What did you learn? What, the, what I learned from this movie, what ta- what this taught me about life is that in Tinseltown anything can happen and oh, it man. often does, but also that I think they just chipped a lot of this movie out yes. just to, I guess, to have a quick runtime. To get more people in. Get more people in. Yeah. There's a, so this, this isn't a spoiler, I don't think, because it's a thing that doesn't happen, but Tyrese Gibson. Yeah. Play. There's two. Uh, there, there's two. There are two FBI agents two who, are, who are pursuing Morbius. One is Al Madrigal, who's a stand-up comedian. Yep. Who I he's been in. He does he's great stand-up, and he's. I think he's been on some TV shows and stuff. I heard him on Jordan Jesse go like 15 years ago, and I'm like, and I saw him in this. I'm like, oh, it's Al Madrigal. This yeah. is great. Uh, and he's kind of like the. He's, he's kind, fine. He's kind of the the goofy partner. Yeah. And then the other half is Tyrese Gibson. Yes. And all I knew about Tyrese Gibson's character is I saw an interview he did. At, a, at a some point, and he said of his character, his, his character has a like, an, and it's mentioned in the in the in the movie yeah. that one of more one of Doctor Michael Morbius's uh, innovations saved oh, his arm when yes, he was in the war. He, he's created a a, uh, an, a synth- an, an, an synthetic blue blood. Yeah, yeah. So in so Tyrese Gibson was led to believe that his character would have like an, a bionic arm. Yeah. And there's a quote from him in an interview where he says. That arm has all kinds of special effects and powers, and that's going to mess people up when they see this movie. <laughs> and so, having known that, I went every time I saw his character in yeah. the movie, 
he has at least he has one hand in his coat pocket yeah. the whole time, and every single scene you're thinking he's going to go claw on everybody. Every single and scene in the movie, I think it, I'm, I'm like I'm absolutely just waiting for him to like he's interviewing Morbius and he like slams his hand on the table and he's like I've got some powers too or whatever, and you see yeah. he's got a cool robot you ain't arm, so hot. But guess what? Nothing. nothing literally nothing. Nothing. At, at a couple of points as well, like very briefly, he has both hands out of his <gasps> coat pocket and he's just got a regular hand and I'm like, maybe that's a flesh-coloured yeah, yeah. maybe that's a flesh-coloured robot hand and he's going to punch Morbius and like the skin's going to come off and it's going to be metal and I'm going yeah. like, that's cool. That is cool. But then all the, the last scene that he has in the movie, uh, he is wearing like a, a police vest and he's got his sleeves rolled up and one arm just has like a little, like it looks like it just has a little brace on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know what, whether that's something they were going to CGI later, but I didn't know this. So, I, so Levens, Andrew Levens from yeah. the Hey Fan podcast. He got COVID. He got COVID this week and I messaged from him. From Morbius. Yeah, and I said, thank God you got COVID uh, for, more, for the movie Morbius. Thank mm. you for your service. But, you know, we were talking about it and he said, it's, we were talk, he told me about the, the arm and he sent me through this thing where I looked at, so it says Stroud has a high-tech weapons grade arm in the film and Gibson described him as a superhero. Gibson has signed a three-picture deal when he, <laughs> when he joined the film. Wow. But they kind of just... And his name's Stroud. Stra- Stroud. Stroud. Stroud, maybe. And he, but he kind of just... He's just like suddenly they're not in it. You know what yep. I mean? They don't yeah. do anything. They capture him like initially and oh. then they kind of go crime scene to crime scene, but they never... They don't think they actually meet again properly, do yeah. they? Or they do. Don't know. It's because it's real boring. Why are they <laughs> making, like, this is every origin movie since, like, Spider-Man. Even yeah. pre-Spider-Man. You could go back mm. to, like, your early Supermans or whatever. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? It's just hitting every origin story beat. Yeah. And, like, to be fair, Shang-Chi did it recently. Uh-huh. And it's pretty fun and inventive and at least just seeing new stuff. Yeah. But what is... What it, what is there here? Like the innovation, I guess we get this is, is that he has sort of a when he moves, there's a sort of a smoky effect. Yeah, but what is that even? I don't think because it's anything. like he's he's got bat powers, sort of. Yeah, well, he's got some inexplicable bat powers. One is a spoiler, which we'll get to. So there's this kind of like trail as he moves or flies mm-hmm. or goes quickly. Yeah, but. I don't know whether the effect is supposed to be that we're seeing him move quickly, but it also happens when he's not moving quickly. I don't think it's anything. I yeah. think they just wanted I think they just said he needs to have a signature effect around him. Yeah. Like uh I don't know, Iron Man has the you know, the chest arc he's got reactor his Iron or Man whatever. Thing. He's got a, his whole Iron Man thing or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's just I, I just oh god. And I know like the, in terms of special effects, I, I think people are saying the special effects are wonky. I don't think they are. I think they're fine. It kind of they're reminded just not me. Of, innovative. Yeah, it reminded me of Bloodshot. You know when yeah. two CGI Bloodshots were fighting each other or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the villain in this, it's Matt Smith. Mm-hmm. They have again. They have the same. Is this a spoiler? Yeah, whatever. It's in the <laughs> trailers. They have, the, or, or it isn't. They have the same uh, condition. Yes, the blood disease, and they also have. have this, they end up getting the same powers, and they mm. they battle. Yeah, and that's so uninteresting because, like, I mean, can, it's the the trope we always make fun of, and it's it's. If if you were to say there's a big the one if you if you were to rank all the weaknesses of the Marvel movies up towards the top would be oftentimes a hero just fights a villain who has the same powers yeah and it's not interesting but also at least the Green Goblin has a different suit and it's, it's true and yeah. like they're they're matched physically mm. but they can do different things yeah. you know mm. whereas this I mean, these guys have different suits. Uh, Morbius has a trench coat and Matt they, Smith has a real zoot suit Matt kind of vibe Smith, going Matt on. Matt Smith can dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's mm. fun. Mm. Yeah, but there was never a point in this movie where you didn't think that Matt Smith wasn't going to be the villain. You yeah, know? true. And there's a moment where it's like, somebody's killing people. There's a vampire killing people. It's probably Morbius. Probably Morbius. And like the previous scene, Matt Smith's like, give me the vampire cure. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, you don't want this. You'll turn into a vampire. He's like, give me that, give me that cure. I'm going to, you give me that cure. I'll kill everyone you and love. And then you're like, wow, what's going to, who's, who's this mysterious Dracula running around? Yeah, right. <laughs> doing Dracula stuff. Uh, Jared Harris is in this to uh, yeah. kind of uncle Ben about and give everybody a lesson. Yeah, yeah, true. Wasted. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I mean, not he was bloody, must have been bloody drunk when he signed up to this. <laughs> Oh, mate. Uh, apparently, um, Karen Gillan encouraged Matt Smith to do I this. I saw that. She yeah. was like, I did a comic book movie, and you should do a comic yeah, book movie. Yeah, they're fun. You're in a different universe. Yeah, you should have <laughs> you should have talked to Kevin Feige and gotten Matt Smith a role in the good universe, I think. I agree. Can I you? mean, and he, he still could. 
So I saw a tweet recently that suggested that Matt Smith has just like he's he's gotten the he's gotten the short end of the stick every time he's tried to do a genre thing. Terminator. Terminator. There's uh, one one prior to that. Another draw. one. Another one. Another example. Two oh, examples. Rise of Skywalker. He was supposed to be the young emperor. Oh yeah, yeah. The emperor. Mm. Uh, yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> all right. So he, he gets he gets his bat powers, and they do the boat thing. Mm. So in the um, comic books as well, he does his. He does his Dr. Dreykel Drobius mm. uh, thing, experiment yep. on a boat out in international waters mm. and with a bunch of mercenaries there, yep. right? And so then he kills everybody on the boat. And it's not a terrible sequence, uh-huh. to be fair, right? And then from there he's like, what do I do? I have this affliction and I want to drink blood. Luckily, me, Dr. Michael Dracula, mm. has invented a fake blood, but it only works for so long because the window mm. of how long this fake blood will, will last, it is, mm. it is a shortening right down. Yes. But also, like... Just drink the bags of blood you also have. But he doesn't want to turn evil, James. Yeah, but that's a th- he doesn't. Like, I don't <laughs> think, like, they're not, I don't see what, like, if, so, you, if you drink regular blood, it doesn't turn you evil. He's you the just thing. want to drink blood, Here's the right? thing. He's the main guy. This is, I mean, this is a spoiler of sorts, I think, but the, the, re- the only real reason that Dr. Dreykel Drawbius becomes, stays good and Matt Smith goes evil yeah. is because Matt Smith's character got like pushed over by bullies 25 years ago. That's true. There's no real that is and and I guess he's but the thing is and he's also like he's like the pampered one like he he's he's come from a very rich family and he has yeah. cars and and a, uh, you know penthouse apartments and what have you. Um so I guess he's just not as good. Yeah. So I don't I don't But know. like he's supposed to be an anti-hero. Yes, or the ver- like, I was a villain or an anti-hero. Yeah, but he's not. He's just a hero. Yeah, he's not willing to. He isn't like. Well, like he kills some mercenaries. Well, exactly. Who cares? Like at the very least, Venom's like. Uh, at, at least at the very He'll least, bite the head off somebody. Exactly. Or at least, at least, um, you know, Eddie Brock uh, is like, okay, you can kill some, you can kill some real bad guys or whatever, and eat their brains. Yeah. At, le- at least that's interesting. Why can't this guy drink? human blood from real bad guys. Yeah, you know? and he ends up doing it anyway mm. at the end, nearly, sort of. No, he does. And then he doesn't turn evil. He just gets more bat powers, maybe. Because he's the main guy. Talk about. Exactly. Yeah. Have we talked about this enough? No. I just. I, do you remember the bit at the start of the movie where Michael Morbius is, is caring for his, his patient? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, man, you got the same Michael Morbius disease as me. Mm. Oh, no, it's kicking into gear. I'm going to put her in an induced coma. I'll make, oh, sure, she, I'll make sure I'll come back to this she later. She never comes out of the coma. You're right. She's just wow. stuck. Yeah, she's still in that coma. Wow. Anyway, that's fine, I guess. Also, what about the line, uh, you don't want to see me when I'm hungry? Ah, yes, a little bit the Hulk style. Also, okay. they didn't commit to him. <laughs> they should combine those for the next movie. For some, A new character should be like... You won't like me when I'm hangry. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. But they don't commit to a couple of things. One, his silly, silly disco costume. Yep. Or two, his like his horrible face. Yeah, because he because can... one of the things in the comic book is that he's a like he looks like a bat Dracula. Yeah, man. but in this he can sort of, if not at will initially, like when when he yeah. when he uh, he's just handsome. When he runs out of blood or he has too much blood. He transforms back into regular Michael yeah. Morbius, and he's not sp- scary anymore. Yeah. yeah, and he's like, "I hope I don't run out of blood." Oh, it's all right. I I won't because <laughs> I have access to a lot of it. There's a moment I, now. Oh, let's do spoilers. It sucks. It's okay. Bad. Yeah. Uh, really yeah. Well, look, worst movie ever. Don't see. But it. I mean, see it when it's see it's see it when it's on Disney Plus. No, or, watch the post credits. That's all you need to know. Oh, yeah, you're probably right about the future of this franchise. I would be fascinated to see where where this movie lost people though. Like, at what point? Did it's, you make it half an hour? Did you make it 40 yeah, minutes? Yeah, yeah. Is it always 40 minutes? Is I it... thought also there would have been more. I think it would have been, what if they did like at the start, he had to go through the jungle and he's he's on his canes or whatever and he has to get to the bat cave to get the bats to get his bat magic powers. Mm. Like he just lands a helicopter and he walks up to it. But wouldn't it have been interesting to see like, and I feel like you could have juxtaposed like him moving through the jungle and this whole expedition. Is this and... movie worthy of a juxtaposition, James? Well, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, like I get that he's like frail, but like. You you see the struggle. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Where it was right. just kind of like he's kind of nice and he, he, he yeah. he's, he's rude. There is some odd, there are some odd pacing issues, and there is a there is a sort of him learning about his powers is just like a, him writing in his journal. Like there's no I can do a flip. There's no I can do a fly. There's no part where he's like you know fumbling through the city and he and yeah. he, and things happen to him and he reacts and then you see how his powers go. He just there's just a moment where he gets back to I, I presume New York City. 
and he's just know. like, and it turns out I'm very strong and I'm very fast, and, and, then, and I've got echolocation powers and blah blah blah. And actually, I figured out all my powers, so don't even don't even worry about it. I wasn't worried about it. Okay, let's I, do spoilers. Yeah, since. spoilers. Uh, worst movie ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's worse than the Venom movies because it's more boring. Uh, I think it's on par with the Venom movies. Okay, I, I have no, I, I don't think they're very good. No, I don't think they're very good either. I mean, I, I like Tom Hardy and things, but I just, it just net. They, but at least they've got that mm. thing where there's two of them talking to each other. That's true. That's what got it over the line yeah. for me. And Woody Harrison's wig only in the first one and yeah. not in the second one. Okay. He I, I don't wig. know. I feel like I, I kind of feel like uh, Venom is just like. Um, it's too fan servicey, but I'm not the fan they're interested in. But then that that suggests to me that there's no fan service in, Morbi- in Morbius because no, there's, there's no not. fans to serve, really. No, it turns anyway, out. what are we spoiling here? What do you uh, let's start with this. This is a tweet from, I want to talk about this, from Ben Berkowitz who says, so let's say we're in a hospital at Mr. Sunday Movies and I give you a nickname based on the several other people that died prior. Mm-hmm. Do you keep that nickname throughout your life or tell me to fuck off? Hashtag Morbius. Okay, because like because Matt Smith's character's na- real name is something else. Lucian, I think. Yeah, but ooh, is that anything? No, anyway. Um, oh, like a reference. I don't know. I don't know. I was like, is Lucian like vampire? No, that's like. There's him. somebody called matter. Lord Lucan. I don't know who that is. That's really great. It's uh, great, so, isn't it? It's so weird because he gives him his name like in Milo. passing as a joke, and then later when Milo's dying, he's, yeah. oh, he's like, "You gave me my name." It's like, yeah, he gave it to you because he. Like yeah, it was so, in like flippantly because he yeah, thought yeah. you were going to die. Mm. You're not really friends, mm. I get. Or you are? I don't know. Ooh, James. Lord Lucan was a British peer who disappeared after being suspected of murder. Wow, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about this? I got this from Venus Eater who says, uh, deadly to bats, fatal to humans. Do you remember that yeah, line? I do remember that, yeah. So they have to stop. He has to stop Matt Smith. How's he going to do it? Poison, it turns mm. out. Things so he gets a vial of poison. He's got us, but he can't get near him to stab him. Mm. So he's so he summons bats. Yes, this is at the end, mm. and he does a big bat dukin. He has the same <laughs> bat fists that uh, Dracula has. It in gave, the movie it's Dracula Untold. Very Dracula Untold. Mm, that's right. A classic terrific. of the genre. Yeah. I agree. And I thought that was like. I mean, there's a moment where he's like, "These bats like me." Yeah. But there's no, like, yeah. nothing beyond that. And then in the end he just summons a bunch of bats to do a big bat dookin. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stupid movie, I think. Yeah. Um, should we talk about what universe this is? Well, I guess we have to talk post credit sequence then. Yeah. Okay, so there are two post credit sequences. How- His oh. girlfriend dies. Oh yeah, that, but okay. she's alive. That's not that's, so. That's right at the end of the he movie. Drinks her blood. And then the movie just ends. Yeah, she she wakes up because he, she got a drop of his blood yeah. in her mouth. You think she's gonna die? You think she, you think she has died? She's been killed by Matt Smith. Oh no! But then at the end, she wakes up and he's defeated Matt Smith with, with the big bat Duke, and he's flying across New York City. He's floating around like a packet of chips, <laughs> and like just a loose packet of chips. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, don't put him in the oven because he'll shrink. Oh, shrink right down. Um, and then she wakes up, and then it just ends. So we never see any resolution to that or whatever. There's two things that are not in the movie. There's that, a lot that of in, that There's a movie. bunch of stuff yeah. that's in the trailer that's not in the movie. Most notably, the point where he he uh, he beats up a dude in a in a counterfeiting lab. Yeah, and he says in the trailer, he's you think it's just he's beating up some random dude, and in the trailer he goes. I'm Venom. Oh, I'm just your old pal, Michael Morbius. Ha <laughs> ha, it's your service. Yeah. That thing. But no, they put in the Venom bit. They, they did, but they, they, they took out the, the Michael pal. Morbius thing. Do you think they put an... out, put, took out all the weird Jared Leto-isms in this? Oh, Is that why he's maybe. so low-key? Maybe. Because he doesn't have... Why it's so short. Yeah. And the second thing they took out that's in the trailers is there's a... Which I assume was the original post credit sequence. Yeah. Or maybe. Or during the movie when or he's d- in prison? Yeah, maybe. I think there's, it's when he's in prison. It must be the moments when he, where, he's, where he's in prison. Where we see Michael Keaton as presumably Adrian Toomes, the vulture from Spider Man Homecoming. Yeah. And he's like, eh, Dr. Michael. What are you doing here? Let's, we should team, we, we should, should have a chat. We should have a talk later, Dr. Michael. What are we you doing? We both fly. You fly like an empty packet Get of chips. Get out of here. <laughs> I think that's because. You me, vulture and the chips, we could call ourselves. <laughs> this movie, I think, was supposed to be in the MCU. Right, yeah, yeah. And then they changed it. Yeah. So, and this also. Oh, and the other thing is there's an image of. Sam Raimi's Spider-Man that they took yeah. out, which apparently the director said they just put in the trailer unbeknownst to him. Right. Yeah, I don't blame the director for any of this. It <laughs> doesn't really feel like anybody had a hand in any of it. All too right. many people had too many hands. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Doesn't... That, that Avia rad. <laughs> just, be, just being rad. Yep, always. Um, 
So the the post credit sequence. So also, this movie has been in the can for a long time. Yes, two years since, maybe since. Well, I mean, it's it's been long enough. So, and this has been pointed out. It's been so long enough that the original trailer said from the from the studio that brought you Spider Man. Far From Home, and then it changed to from the studio oh, that brought you really? Spider-Man No Way Home. Oh, I forgot to mention up top it has the classic in association with Marvel. Oh, my Twice. God. And the and the tr- and the and this posters say a new Marvel legend arrives, so it's they're really <laughs> leaning heavily on it, even though Marvel absolutely does not want them to. Anyway, <laughs> so basically what they've done is that since Spider-Man No Way Home came out, they have rushed into production one post credit sequence that has been split into two yes. because they're like, well, these movies have two post credit sequences. Yeah. So there's one straight after like the title card at the, in the credits and there's one, there's a mid credits and there's nothing at the end. So the first one is there's a big purple multiverse rip that appears in the sky. What? And then, uh, a man appears in a prison cell. What? And it's Michael Keaton. It's Adrian Toomes. And he's like, and he he's clearly been given the direction, imagine you've been transported to another dimension. And he's like, I don't know what that means. So I'll just like yeah. touch my face and my oh, head. And yeah. He's in two multiversal franchises now. Isn't that crazy? Thank God. Right? Yeah. Great. Great mm. stuff. Anyway, so he appears in a cell and then there's a news report <gasps> that suggests he is he has appeared in the cell, and because there is no record of him committing any crimes, he yeah. is free to go, which suggests that he has come from the MCU yep. into, into whatever the, the Morbius verse, which is also the Venom verse, the Venom verse, and, and and maybe other things. Right, which we'll get and to. then there's the half of the credits. Yep. Is there any more to that? No, uh, they let him go. Well, they're like, we'll probably let yeah, him yeah, go. they let him go. Uh, and then there is a the the, the mid credits is Morbius yep. in completely human form. Yep. Drives a car. Why into... is he driving? Because he can he can fly like he a can, packet of chips. Like a packet of chips. Yeah. On um, those desert winds. Yeah. He drives out of, presumably way out of New York City. I don't know where he is. Yeah. Um, to a spooky house. To a spooky house. Which and... might be a nod to that Spider-Man origin comic. Oh, where he goes to the, he goes to the lizards. Yeah. Uh, spooky house. Spooky house. So yeah. he drives out into this desert location late at night, and then who should arrive? Who is it? It's... Adrian, in terms of the vulture, because you hear somebody coming, and you're you like, somebody, you see some wind, and you're could like, it possibly who could it be? Hark, who who be this? Who could, it, who could it be? Could it be? Could it be um, Tyrese Gibson's character? <laughs> is he is he flying through the desert on his robot arm? <laughs> just just dragging him along, right? <laughs> like With his powers and gadgets and what have you that are yeah. going to blow your mind? Is this where we finally get our mind blown by the powers of Tyrese Gibson's robot arm? Hell's yes. But no, it isn't. It is Adrian. Michael Keaton's Adrian Toomes, the Vulture, yeah, who is inexplicably in his full Vulture flight suit, but it's not the MCU one. It's been redesigned, and Fidel pointed this how, out. How much redesign? Uh, the mask is different. The wings are different. It's got different colours. Okay, but Fidel, of course, uh, works on the Great Mates page and, and many other th- wonderful things. Said that uh, it's from the post credit scene and also the credits. The Vulture wings look like the Vulture wings from the Amazing Spider Man universe. And I don't know whether that's oh, a mistake like in the, in the... or a distinct or, or like an effort to be like this is actually the amazing Spider-Man. Oh, to suggest Spider-Man that this is the amazing the... Spider-Man universe. But what does the vulture say? Oh, his mask doesn't pop oh, yeah, up. It's don't... 80-yard. Yeah, it's 80-yard, <laughs> so you don't see him. So it's And it sounds like Michael Keaton recorded it in a closet. On his phone. On his phone, probably. Oh, you're almost definitely on the phone. Yeah. And he's like, hey, I don't know. How did I get here? How did, I don't know how I got into your world, but I must have been something to do with Spider-Man. I think. Anyway, we should team up and do should, some good. Yeah, we should team up and do some good. And then, then Michael Morbius says, "Intriguing." Yeah, and then it almost cuts to like, credits, and then everybody in my cinema laughed. <laughs> it's almost as if all eight people in my cinema laughed. They had uh, footage of Michael Morbius standing somewhere saying, "Intriguing." Yeah, and they just cut this that is the in. this is the worst case scenario of the Zack Snyder Justice League scene where someone arrives to yep. visit Bruce Wayne and they don't know who it is yet, but luckily Zack, Zack Snyder has $50 million to fill in that blank. Yeah, absolutely. In this, they don't have anything. Yeah. Uh, you know what the thought I had was, this This isn't a spoiler for that, but just if go, going back briefly, the scenes in the movie where Michael Morbius fights Matt Smith, yeah. they look like PS5 ads. They do. You know, where like not where it says underneath it, def, it says like not, 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 in game not in-game footage. footage. Where it's like it's Kratos fighting a, a big thing, and you're like, "Well, that'll be a cutscene." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they look good for a PS5 game, but they totally. don't. Look, that's what they look like. They've yeah. got that weird vibe and that weird. You're right. That's not a spoiler. That is not a spoiler. <laughs> anyway, so you're right. So he the 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 the, the vulture mask never comes off. Yeah. But the 
this there's so many questions. Yeah. Like so is is that the suit? Did he Okay, so he oh, Apparently, no, he... Where did he get the suit It is, is a question. new suit. Okay. So, but also, he can't build the suit. He didn't build the suit. He didn't build the tinker. He doesn't have any suit. of the Chitari tech because yeah. that never happened in this universe. Or it did, wherever we are. Yeah, right. Also, he goes, must have been something to do with Spider-Man. And the director has said there's a Spider-Man in this universe, but we don't know who it is, other than it's not Tom Holland. Okay. I don't think it's Tobey Maguire, mm. and I don't think it also could be Andrew Garfield, because it is in the Venomiverse. Yes. But Venom has never seen Spider-Man before, because when he goes into the MCU, he's the, like, the hero what is the this? Movies. He hasn't seen movies. You know what I mean? Any, yeah. Like, he would have known that there was a Spider-Man. Yeah. And I said, for the way to Sony to fix this, but they have to pay me money. Uh, was that you make it the Miles Morales universe. Oh. And I really hope they, they don't do that. Yeah. Because they like this is not a good universe. I don't yeah. like being in it. I don't mm. like anybody in it. it I won't don't be, like how it connects to anything. It won't be the to- Tobey Maguire Spider-Man universe because he's pretty much done with the whole thing. Yeah. And it's not going to be yeah. – if it could be anybody, it could, it's probably Andrew Garfield, but he's not going to – See this? Yeah, he's not going to hear about the this and go. Yeah, I'll commit to three That's more movies. That's a junk universe as well. Even yeah. though he's a great Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. It's, like his movies are like then it's a junk universe. Yeah, it's it is. No yeah. Good. So to if we can no prize this, which is provide a solution for it. What that mean? What what it may mean is Adrian Toomes has arrived in the in the the Amazing Spider Man universe, the Andrew Garfield Spider Man universe. And he has learned that under the, the Oscorp building there is a vulture suit. Yes. And he's like, well, I had a vulture suit, I guess. And I'll take this vulture I'll suit. Just, why not? I, I, I mean, I could just be a guy who flies a helicopter or whatever, but, I, no. but I'll actually be a guy who I really got used to being a winner flying oh, wings in a jet-powered big, wingsuit. Big clawed feet. Big, yeah, right? Yeah. So I'll just steal that somehow. But again, that doesn't explain why nobody knows who Spider-Man is right. in this, mm. you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have also put forward, because obviously we have the Gamers On Award, yes. where, like, it's a movie that, like, that hints to a larger and wonderful expanded universe. Very confidently. Very confidently, that's right. And this obviously, well, this isn't confident. It's mm. more like, hey. Hey. Guys, mm. I know you're busy, yeah. but I don't but want to be a bother. The, but just the like the reason this these these post credits are so egregious to me, and maybe we haven't got it across properly, is because they don't they like at least with a Marvel post credit sequence, you go, oh, okay, we're you know we're getting a sequel, and, and these guys are going to be in it. I think, yeah. and that's or intriguing. at the very least they call back to a thing. That, yeah, yeah. That you know but this like. means nothing. Yeah, <laughs> and they'll they're very obviously like. If this does well, we'll figure out what any of this Absolutely, means. We don't yeah. know. We, we we haven't. We we've we've not figured out the internal logic of why yep. any of this is happening. We've not figured out why they'd be doing good. Yeah, we haven't figured out. Is this a Sinister Six thing? Because No Way Home kind of did the Sinister Six. I think they are looking to do it, but also who's but, left though? This is the, well, yeah, at best this will be a Sinister. They've three. got. A, they're doing a Craven movie at the moment, so that's the three. But if I were. Sony, mm-hmm. and if I were Kevin Feige, yeah. I'd be like... So you're Sony and Kevin Feige? I'm both of them. Wow. I would just be there like... There are always two wolves inside like, of you. One's Kevin Feige and one's <laughs> Sony. I'd be like, we're tying this off. Like, yeah, this right. is Okay. This is separate. Yeah, the right. only thing that we could save this universe is that people sort of like Venom, and by that I mean they make some money. Yeah. But even then, okay. you could just I mean, put that, it in a big Ziploc bag I mean, and look, put it in a bin. That is, assuming all the actors are back on board, yep. we've now got a Sinister Four. So it's Morbius, yep. the Vulture, yep. Craven the Hunter, and Venom. Maybe Carnage. And they're going to do some good. Yeah. So they're the nice four. What does four. that mean? The nice <laughs> four. Yeah, because they're all antiheroes. They're not villains yeah. at this point. And the thing about them also is, and we sort of recently read some Morbius comics. Yeah. The, the 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 fun of Spider Man is he's got a massive rogues gallery of in- interesting characters. Yeah, none of these people have any rogues. Who no. are they going to fight? Guys with robot arms, I guess. Yeah. I, what? Look, if I was doing this, and I would never, I would mm. never be so bold. So you'd never be Sony. No, that's okay. right. What I would be doing is would be building villains. Mm-hmm. I would be making villain origin movies who are villains. Yeah. People who go bad in every movie, uh-huh. and then you're like. This guy's a well. This guy's a murderer, and this guy's. Oh, a murderer. And where is this leading to? And what is? And then Spider Man has to fight six murderers okay. and a guy in a vulture suit or whatever. Yeah, right. You know, like I mean, they like they, but I don't think they would also because they can't 
there is people don't see movies where just <laughs> yeah, and and I think they would also be like, well, we can't like we've reached this point where there's there's a huge backlash against morally grey characters. Like yeah. this is as morally grey as I, I think you can do in a like a it's mainstream. So uninteresting though, yeah, isn't right? it? You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. God. Who are they going to fight? Who are they going to fight? And that's the thing. They don't know either. No, they absolutely I, don't know. I, I wonder, somebody might have this somewhere, because I certainly don't know it. Who Who's left in the Sony Spider-Man deal? Like, what characters are left? Like, in terms... Well, they're doing a Madam Web, Web oh, movie yeah, also. Right, right. Like, will she connect to the universes? Oh. Did she can do that stuff, can't she? If it's... Depending on the Madam Web, I guess. I guess so. Because it might be the... One who used to be Spider Woman and is now. Oh Madame yeah, that's Web. right. We did talk about um, this, didn't we? But maybe it's not. But maybe they combine the. the you know. It's a, but that's the thing. It's, this is just a mess. But like, I would love to know who is left in that deal because it's got to be written. Because you know. Because yeah. you know, with the the, the Marvel Studios it's, deal, it was like. I, I think it's anybody who was introduced in a Spider Man comic. comic. That's why Morbius is here. Yeah. yeah. Right. 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 Exactly. That's so, why Morbius is here. Yeah. That's his catchphrase. <laughs> that's why Morbius is here. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Tremendous. Got some uh, reviews here from people who have written in. Like okay. Scott, who says, I have two boys, uh, 11 and 10. Oh, back to back. You know back what I mean? Back to back boys. Just pumping them out. You know what I mean? Sure, yeah. Yeah. I, I hesitate. I didn't mean in a rude way. I meant in terms of, you know what I mean, mm, Mason? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I've, d- I've covered that yeah. well. I'm, I hesitated to take them to Morbius movie because of the potential vampiring and blood. Thankfully, mm. I went and watched it alone, not because of the blood and gore, but because I have zero chance of explaining what was happening. <laughs> Broderick says... All I want to hear about is how you think the flying looks. Other than that, the, the, the Morbius review could go the way of Snake Eyes. Whoa. Always oh, in we're saving up for a big review. Big review, right. yeah. It's from Baz. Oh, do you, uh, I mean, I guess we talked about the, the flying, but I mean. It's not good. It's, I mean, it's not great, but it, that I mean, is, right. it is accurate to how he, because he doesn't really fly in the comic books. He's got he, he, hollow he, bones. Yeah, he's got kind of a wind current vibe going on. So I guess it's accurate, but. Yeah, great. Mm. Uh, Baz, uh, Basmatasm says, Morbius certainly was a movie, wasn't it? Unsure if it deserved all the hate it's getting. I'll say this, though. It's nice to see Tyrese turn on his screen in- turn his t- screen intensity down from the usual 10 to a cool 5. I did like that, actually. Yeah, his yeah. character was pointless, but still. Yeah, it, <laughs> it was actually nice to have him not screaming yeah. the entire time. So now we know it's just the character of, what's his, Roman? Roman. We just know it's Roman. Roman Polanski is his name in the movie. No. Is that not true? It's Roman, not true, no. Not, no, I'm Roman Polanski. Unrelated. Oh, I see. That's great. Yeah, uh, yeah. John uh, Mortison says my Morbius review for the Weekly Planet Pod hashtag Weekly Planet Pod is that it sh- uh, <laughs> should have we should have seen the Batman again instead. Yep. Abby said I have high I had high hopes for Morbius. Why is that? Wow. <laughs> and then it's just trailed off because <laughs> no. they've fallen unconscious. And honestly, my expectations were exceeded by how terrible it is. Oh, there we go. That makes sense. There you go. Julie had a good chuckle in the empty cinema. I love the age old. I love the age old tell don't show. Oh, me too. Mm. I like like. There's a bit at the start where I knew we were in for a treat when he gets off the helicopter mm. and he's going to get all these bat samples for some yes. reason and he has to be there for it for whatever reason. Yeah, yeah. And the, someone on the helicopter is like, "Oh, do you need a doctor?" And he goes, "I am a doctor." Yeah. It's like, yeah, you didn't know that. Like, you don't yeah, know right, who you're right. transporting. Yeah. yeah, well, they didn't come, They didn't exist until they yeah. the scene started. Those people didn't. Oh yeah, exist, I forgot. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Adam says Morbius. Two Dracula boys are mates and they punch for a bit. Incredibly dull. One out of five. <laughs> Morbius post credits. Two absolutely nonsensical scenes setting up a movie that hopefully will not happen. Mm-hmm. So bad they. So bad they are. So bad they are art. I mm-hmm. cacked. Five out of five. Actually, there you go. Does and, that say cackled or no cacked? As like you cacked yourself. You cacked your dad. You cacked your dad. Yeah. Wow, that, that is bad. I agree. Yeah. Ray said, the worst part of Morbius was that it just wasn't anything. Not spectacularly bad or confusing. It exists and we're all worse off because of it. Agreed. So what do you think? Uh, I mean, the game is on award, mm. which we award every year to yeah. a movie that, again, et cetera, tries to do a thing. Where does this fall in on that? I think this is a strong contender. Even though it's already in an existing universe and they will make more Venom movies. Yeah. Do you mm. think they're going to cut off the Morbiverse? This morbstrosity. That's a great question. I, I, it wouldn't shock me if they put Morbius in a Venom three, because or or in the Sinister Six because they have to, because they have to, they need someone, because they barely. <laughs> like, I, it wouldn't shock me if they did a Sinister Six and there was only five members <laughs> and they just tried to sneak it through. <laughs> yeah, pretty good stuff. Mm. All in all, uh, this was just. Imagine taking a property that no one cares about and making it even less interesting right? afterwards. It is all it's all the more BS. Uh, thank you. Thanks. It's all thank the you. it's all the more BS. Thanks for the setup. Yeah, you, you're welcome. It's all the more BS because 
that's what the MCU did. They took a bunch of like yeah. th- this. It is it, the, in a way the circle is completed. Mm. It's a real Aro Morbius. Oh, very because good. Because the the MCU exists because Marvel licensed out all its top flight yeah. characters, like its its A list characters, like Spider Man and Fantastic Four and the X Men, the most popular ones, yep. to other places. And so when they put together. A, Marvel Studios, they only had the dregs yeah. ultimately, which have become so well And also regarded. they, I guess the difference between this and Marvel is Marvel, Marvels and Marvels, mm. this is also a difference, yeah, yeah. is Marvel needed that to win. Otherwise yeah. they would have lost it all. Yeah. Like they would have had to get rid of all of those characters. Yeah. And they have anyway because they're at Disney or whatever or it's yeah, all yeah. under Disney. They haven't got rid of You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So they were really like this has to work because we yeah. don't have anything else. Whereas yeah. Sony are like – Oh yeah, we'll do that too. Yeah. In addition to Uncharted and making video games, and do we do DVD players? I don't know. Do we? How's how's that Sony Ericsson deal going? We're yeah. still making phones. Do we have a streaming service? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> do they? <laughs> they don't, do they? Sony. Yeah. Well, they got the PlayStation. Like they, you can you can access other streaming services I guess through so. your That's PlayStation. You, that is true. Yeah. And that. Is the mark of a champion. Mm-hmm. Anyways, thank you everybody for listening to our review of Morbius. <laughs> Do you think Morbius will become the um, when you buy like a spindle of writable DVDs at the, the supermarket? <laughs> Do you think it'll become this, the DVD that's on the, on the top, like Casino Royale used to be? Did, really? Yeah, I didn't know they used to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Which is also a real kick in the balls. Imagine if you were Daniel Craig. Yeah, yeah. And you will, and you you turned around like negative. Press opinion Perception about of, about uh, of Bond and also yourself and all that sort of stuff. You've resurrected yeah, yeah. the franchise. You resurrected a franchise, and then you went to the supermarket. And Rachel Vice is like, "Can you go down to the supermarket and get some stuff? Yeah, um, some stuff that I." No, Rachel I'm rich. Weiss do I have to do this? Yes, you, you know, do. Yeah, you do actually. You have to do, and you have to wear the baby thing, and, and the paparazzi are going to take photos of <laughs> they're you. They're going to go pap pap pap. They're going to exactly, get you and then you go down the miscellaneous section. You're like. Oh, they're giving that movie away for free on the top of a spindle of DVDs. <laughs> I threw up my shoulder, leaping from a crane. <laughs> Yeah, good anyway, stuff. people are going to take the top that, that top one off and just fling it to the side because they need to they need to put some spreadsheets on a DVD. Yeah, they need to burn some DVDs. All right, do you know what it's time for then? It's time for what we're reading. Yeah. What are we going to read? Do you love moving on to the next segment of the show? I Is absolutely that your do. favourite segment of the yes, show? Yes, thank you. Are you going to hear what's pause? Next? Are you going to... I know, Mason, I'm going to play the theme song and then I'm going to, we're going to check that the Morbius review check works. Check the Morbius review. And then nice. we're going to listen to a full episode of the Joe Rogan podcast, that's the latest incredible. one, and that'll nice. get us to jazzed. get in the mood for podcasting. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm doing the theme. Westworld? Yes. I know we've really been jazzed for Morbius, but just want, like, and, and then it's just over. You know what I mean? Not in my heart. No, no. It's oh. over, oh. and we don't have to do this joke anymore. Oh yeah, that's a good about point. About being month beers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we talked a big game earlier about it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Forever. And also, like, we we were doing it ironically, just yes. so people know, right? Yeah. I mean, there was yeah, a, man. There was <laughs> sure, man. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. God, just an exhausting experience, <laughs> and a movie that I would a hundred percent not have seen if I didn't have to. And you know what's gonna? You know what the the, the thing of it is? Is it's gonna be on the side of buses for months after this. Oh, we're not, whenever we're, we're still gonna be seeing it, even though it'll be out of cinemas in like a week and a half. Yeah. Straight to streaming. Anyway, Anyways, yeah. this is the segment of the show where we talk about things we've watched, read, or listened yeah. to. Yeah. Now, we're uh, well, hopefully recording tomorrow an episode with Alexi and Cameron. Oh, from the podcast Total Reboot. That's right. And numerous other things are Finding Drago, Finding Desperado. They have a new, got a new series. A web series coming, coming out. Yeah. That's yeah, exciting. Like, like video and stuff. Yeah, it's video and stuff. Which is the real deal. What's the and stuff? Because it's remember. just video, right? Yeah. Yeah. Video and like... Back of a cereal box, oh, like okay. a like a like a puzzle or a like a maze like you're gonna maze. solve. Yeah, yeah to, right. like it's a mystery you're solving. It's, it's like you're solving the mystery. I've never solved anything. <laughs> you know, I've mean, got a lot of financial problems. Oh, of, no, a lot of interpersonal issues. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I don't know if you've met any of my friends, but we don't connect on any real level. You know yeah, what I, I mean? Know. Yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think we like each other outside of this podcast. I mean, we've never spoken outside of the podcast. Exactly, it's wild. <laughs> a friend of yours, look, this you can cut this out, but a friend of yours recently sent a video to you, like a little. You showed me a, a video he'd sent you, like a video message, and he was shirtless in it. Like, oh, oh yeah, I did too. That's and I'm right. like, and I'm like, oh, that's a full, that's a full blast of that dude. I hadn't seen him in a long time. I remember him. I remember him being a little bit weird, but man, he is. He is next level. You got 110. I got 110. It? it was great. Anyway, you had a flashback. You were like, yeah. I remember this. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> that <guy's> full on. <laughs> anyway, so I, anyway for the podcast, yeah. uh, Total Reboot, reboot we, uh, we rewatched Dark City to yes. talk about. So the that'll Alex be our, Proyas late 90s point. classic, the precursor to The Matrix. That's right. Not as good probably. Absolutely not as good. Yeah. Uh, but what else have you been doing? I've got some other stuff to yeah. talk about. Well, I started watching a TV series which I really enjoy called Minx. It's an American TV oh. series. Um it's on Stan in Australia, and it's in. Mm. It's on. I think it's on HBO Max in America. Okay. And it is, it is about a a, a young. It's in set in the seventies, and it's about a young woman who uh, wants to start a feminist magazine. But of oh, course, I saw an ad but for of this. course, yes, yes, because yes. of the era she lives in. Yeah. Which is not that dissimilar to the era we're in currently. I agree. Uh, people I are not. Agree. People are not on board with it, and the only place she can find who's interested, the the only person she's uh, who can she can find who's interested in. Uh, helping her achieve that dream is a guy who uh, who runs like a like a dirty magazine, yeah, a horny business. dude, a horny dude. So yeah. it's it's um the the two main stars. It's Ophelia Loverbond yep. is her name. Yes, uh, who people if if our audience and and certainly me have seen, she's been in a lot of British stuff, but most prominently she is in the Guardians movies. She is the collector's servant. Oh yeah, with like the the pink red that face is true, yeah. who explodes when she grabs the when she grabs the proverbial gem. That's so true. Uh, but she is in the she she plays the uh, the uh, Joyce, who's like the main uh, the protagonist, and Jake Johnson from New Girl and etc. Yes, he's the creep. He's, or whatever. he's, the, he's the, and he's like yeah, and it's uh it's a lot of fun, and the the, the supporting cast is very good. She's uh, also in Trying. You ever seen the TV show Trying? It's quite good. It's about ad- adoption. It's quite ah, funny. Okay, right. Timothy Spall is in it as oh, well. Oh, Spallsy. Or Rafe Spall. Spallsy. Which, is, which Spall is in yeah, it? Yeah, both Spallsy to me. Rafe Spall, there you go. Uh, anyway, yeah. it's a, a lot of fun. Yeah, great. Yeah. Okay, I will check because I saw the ads for that. And that's coming out like week to week. So yeah. if, you want, if you want a show to, to check out. I've been too busy looking at, like, wondering whether I'm going to click on Jack Reacher again. I've been so busy. <laughs> oh, with that. did you finish it? No. Nah. Okay. I don't think I will because I'm. <laughs> I kind of forgot who's been shot. I don't know. Um, <laughs> not Jack Reacher. Is no, the absolutely answer. not. Not yet. Man at is least. bulletproof. Yeah, I, I didn't. I was looking forward to watching the Bubble, the new Judd Apatow Netflix. I watched thing. that today, and I liked it because I've I've heard like nothing but just people do not like it. But that's really? good. That's good for you to say. That's good to hear that it's actually not. I terrible. mean, I liked it, but also when we went to start this segment, I was like, and I watched Minx and. What was the other thing what that I watched the other today? And if you what did I it literally? Out yet? It's the movie The Bubble. Oh, I'd forgotten you'd said that. Oh no, <laughs> and I had to check my, I had to recheck my notes. Yeah, but yeah. It, again, it's an all-star cast. It's, yeah, I mean, clearly, it's a, you know, it's a Judd Apatow movie, so I think a lot of people are like, well, I got you know, I would, I would, I got a minute. It, it's, it, it must have cost a lot. Yeah, I mean, Maybe but it's, all it's for people who don't know it. We've we've mentioned it briefly. It's about it's set around a. A fictional movie production that is happening uh, during and it's like the a pandemic. Jurassic World slash Fast and Furious style franchise. Yes, Cliff yeah. Beasts. Yes. yes, and it's got you know it's I I, I think it's pretty fun. Okay, yeah. Well, that's wow, well, good I love, stuff. I, I like like that. the cast, like everybody involved. Uh, it's funny. Yeah, good, good, uh, but not too funny. Not funnier than us because that I would find that intimidating. It is funnier than us. Yes, oh, I can't watch it. Then I'm going to be really upset by that. That's going to really take the wind out of my sails. <laughs> Yeah, and it turns out that uh, Apatow has another child who also does acting. Yes, it? he's got th- uh, two child. Ah. They've been in uh, This Is Forty and um, uh, blah 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 blah. The other one. Oh, knocked up. They're both oh, in that as there well. There you go. All right. Yeah, there we go. Great. Um, I have been. Uh, I, I found just by pure happenstance. I think it was recommended uh, to me through the 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 world. <laughs> the world. Um, no, through the YouTube uh-huh. algorithm. Uh, it's a it's a small uh, smaller YouTube channel with uh, eight point nine thousand subscribers. Okay, uh, it's called I finished a video game. Okay, and he does a video called Prince of Persia series retrospective and exhaustive history and review, where he basically not basically he does <laughs> extensively go through every single Prince of Persia game from the original, oh. every handheld port, every like variation. You know, and like the reboot, the, the multiple reboots that they've had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's th- also it's three hours long. Wow. So I have been, and it's it's and it's very good. I just haven't, I haven't, I didn't sit down and watch it all at once because I don't have You're three right. hours to watch it. Yeah, of course. But I've just been like the last week. I've just been coming back in and watching yeah, like yeah. each segment because I that's one of my favorite franchises. Yeah. In particular, The Sands of Time mm. is an amazing game. And they cover the old one, like the PC. Yeah, they do all of yeah, that. Right, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And it's like a little bit of the history. It's not like exhaustive, but there's a like you, everything you need to know about it is yeah. there, and and how they they, how they approached each game and who were the creative teams involved and where it obviously went wrong and yeah. the hidden gems among the franchise. Yeah. And they talk a little bit about the movie as well. And uh-huh. yeah, it's just a franchise that I wish 
they would revisit in a yes. in a good way. Mm. And because like, Sands of Time, because that's when I kind of came back to video games. Mm. That was one of the first games where I'm like, oh shit, this is like I haven't played something like this before. Like I'd played a 3D platformer, but mm. there's it's still a bit kind of and it janky. had the reverse time mechanic. But, well, that and I just remember there was a moment where I got onto a ladder and I needed to be on the other side of the ladder. And I think I've talked about this to, to before. And in a Tomb Raider, you got to climb off the ladder and walk around. Yeah, right, right. And then right. I just went huh, and like. I just pressed like a round and he like switched. Like a normal them. human would. And I'm like, oh, and I just remember being like, oh my God. Like I'd never seen that before. And mm. it's so smooth and the wall running and yeah. it kind of falls off a cliff that those particular <laughs> games. How ironic. Yeah. But they're all pretty solid. Yeah, yeah. But that first one in particular, the combat's not great, but other yeah, than yeah. that, that first one in particular, just a really great story. And just the fact that you're constantly ascending as well. Like you're basically climbing your way mm. up this tower. Uh, the um, entire time. To get that goose that lays the, the golden eggs. That lays the egg. And they're also d- working on a HD remake at the moment. Not like a remaster where they polish it up, which they already have done. They're yeah. remaking it. Oh. So I'm interested. In, I, I, I don't know whether I like the aesthetic of the, what they're going for in the new one. Okay. I'm, like, But unless it's like this is an absolute bin fire, I will <laughs> be getting that new Prince of yeah, Persia. Right, okay. I've, just, I've just always had a soft spot for these games. Mm-hmm. I even liked the... The, 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 that weird in between call they did when the movie came out, Forgotten Sands. Oh, terrific. Which is set between one and two. Not the original one and two, the reboot one and two. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, hell yeah. I love Prince of Persia, Mason, yeah, I think. Yeah. Mm. But I, and I think the movie's okay from memory. <laughs> swarthy. It's a very swarthy movie. Very much so. Mm. Classic Middle Eastern actor, Jake Gyllenhaal. Nah, that's right. Returns. Couldn't do it these days. He's busy. He's busy. He's very busy doing a night crawler or being being. He's just doing weird creep roles now. Yeah. He's like, this is where I am actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm a weird creep. This is my energy actually. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, cool. I'll lean into it. Are we moving on, Mason? We're moving on to letters. Wow. And there's a theme to go with letters, and it goes like this. How's it go? The classic one was. Letters, I remember this theme. Letters, now that I hear it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Letters, like out loud. Right now, we're going to do that. Mason was pulling a silly face. No, you were pulling it. a silly face. You How can never prove you. that. But uh, listen, this is the segment of the show. Uh, I think the backup recorder will prove you made a <laughs> oh, silly no! face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Uh, where if you do want to reach the show, you can hashtag Weekly Planet Pod or send an email to weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com. That's right. Or give us a physical letter, uh, which yeah. has happened one time. Happened one, probably never again. <laughs> yeah. But Mason. Yes. You're a man of the world. Is that true? Sure, why not? Yeah. And maybe you've maybe you've got a letter. I maybe do have a letter. Got a Gmail. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe you've screenshotted a Gmail. I screenshotted two do. Gmails right here. Well, what do you screenshot? As opposed to like just opening the because you forget which ones you've yeah, read. Yeah, and, and, not and read. Gmail is like sometimes it'll it'll be like, no, actually you want ads for umbrellas or something, and I'm like, but where's the thing that I you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah do you yeah. want um, ads for umbrellas? Not really. I have all the umbrellas I need. Wow. Yeah. Powerful stuff. Anyway, Mason, read this, your Gmail. All right. This is one from Brian. Hello, Brian. It says, hi, James and Meso. Hello, Brian. How's your day? Hope yeah. you're having a great week. I'm my, fucking cooked, mate, honestly. Like, my kid hasn't been sleeping. Like, is this, was this a genuine question? No, I think, it was, no I, think it was, I think he's just being polite, if I'm honest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It says here, I'm just being polite. Please don't answer. Well, don't even ask then. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't want an answer. I, he said here, actually, I'm only asking so I can tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> So, and then he goes on to say, my exam period is approaching, so naturally I'm distracted by exploring old movies I haven't watched. Oh, I remember that, yeah. I recently watched Grindhouse from 2007, so the Robert Rodriguez yep. Tarantino, and I have fallen to the rabbit hole of Grindhouse films from the 70s. Oh, okay. There's a great series on YouTube called Missing Real. Do you guys have any films of that kind you recommend? Grindhouse. Grind- or even like old films. Yeah. There's a there's an Australian movie called The Man from Hong Kong. What's that? It's like a it's it's a Australian like kung fu movie. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's Went from that era. From that era, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What I actually would recommend if you can find it, it's probably on some streaming service. There's a there is a uh, documentary called Not Quite Hollywood, which is about Australian filmmaking from oh, that yeah, era. Oh, yeah, that's very good, isn't it? Apparently. It is very good and, and and weird, and you go, man, Australia used to have a film industry. Yeah, but isn't now that crazy? it's been slowly gutted. It's been uh, gutted. And I blame Crocodile Dundee. You, you think so? Yeah, well, everyone The expects, character, the fictional character. Yeah, everyone character. expected like a $500 million movie after that, and it's just not going to happen. You know what mm. I mean? Oh, not, oh not, I see what you're saying. And right, not right. without like... Putting in a bunch of money to a bunch of different stuff and building yeah, yeah, up the yeah, industry yeah. slowly. Do you know what I mean? But mm. I, it's, this is just not my. It's just not my area. Oh, James, you, know what I mean? you can you can watch Not Quite Hollywood on Mubi, the free streaming service. I love the streaming service Mubi. Mubi. No. 
movie. Thing I said, I reckon. Okay, great. Yeah, I mean, I know there's been like newer ones, like obviously the, the Machete movies yeah, and yeah, Hobo yeah. with a Shotgun. We talked about this recently, but no, I don't really have any grindhouse recommendations. That is O. Oh, Do you have any others other than that one that you said? Besides The Man from Hong Kong? Yeah. Uh, no, but I'll think about it. What about what the do you think about that? What do I think about that? Yeah. I think you're absolutely entitled to your opinion. And that's uh, cool. While you're thinking about it, do you want me to read a tweet that we got? Yes. From hashtag, this is hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. And this is from, who's it from? Let me check. This is from Jack, who says, Fantastic Beast 3 is coming out after more. He wrote Mo, Mobius. <laughs> uh, what about that la- the last Harry Potter episode? I guess after Fantastic Beast <laughs> 3 movie. Yeah, no, we do have to do that. Yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But no, next week is. Fantastic Beast 3, a movie that I could have gone to the <laughs> premiere of and oh, yeah. I didn't. Just didn't feel like it? No. Pretty good. Because uh, I'm pretty burnt out on all of that, if I'm honest. Oh, no. On any number of reasons. But, no, mm. we will see it for this show and we will talk about it next week. Yeah, yeah. And by all accounts, it's better than the last one, which, God, you'd hope so. Uh, you looking forward to seeing that this week, Mason? How many like people Is in this it. the third one? It's the third and of maybe five? the last one. I've no idea. Technically yeah. a five. I like Jude Law as Dumbledore. Sure. And that's good. Yeah. Have you got another tweet, Mason? Uh, or an email? Give, give me one second. I'm just going to look at a thing. Why don't you look at a thing in your own no, time? No, you're no. on the clock, mate. No, 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 no. You, you always you, you use the toilet and you check your, your, your tweets on company time and your notes and so forth. Oh, that's actually a great point. Isn't it, though? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I've got one more email here, James. Have you got one more email for us? This is from Joel. Hello, Joel. Subject line, apartment fire. Okay. <laughs> hey, James and Mesa, I'm writing this email a few hours after watching my apartment building burn and everything I own be destroyed. Oh, my God. I was able to get out along with my cat but lost everything else. As I was waiting for my sister to come pick me up, I began listening to old episodes of the podcast as a way to calm down. I find the back and forth between you two extremely calming and just wanted to say thanks that in this time where everything seems lost, I still have my favourite podcast to fall back on. Can I be the official hoosier of the podcast? I don't know how to tell him this, but this podcast, all the episodes were lost in a fire. Oh, no. Yes, this is the last one and it's literally burning away. And it's the worst one too. (laughs) It's the Morbius one. Oh, no, I'm sorry to hear that. That's awful. I mean... Obviously, thank God you and your cat are okay. Like, mm. that's the most important thing, exactly. obviously. Like, thank God you guys got out okay. But, no, that's just losing all your stuff. What a – Yeah. I mean, aside from everything that you love that's in there, what a, what a fucking hassle. You know what I mean? Oh, my God, right. I'm going to replace everything and find a new place mm-hmm. and, oh, God, terrible. But maybe, really you could, uh, maybe you could, um, you know – Give uh, us a five-star review. Yeah, absolutely. That <laughs> is that what you were going to say? That would certainly help you. Uh, I was going to say um, – No, do you have a real suggestion? No, I'm just going to say, we hope, hope you're back on your feet soon and uh, maybe, um, you know, what you could do is you could just change your whole image. You could just be like, wow, yeah. you know, I'm a, I'm a grindhouse guy now. I'm, I'm going to dress in like 70s. I mean, is that what you want to commit to? Yes. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You're a grindhouse guy now. Yeah. That's you. That's we've, right. We've, we've, we've revamped your entire personality. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. You're all about disco now. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible! But it is again, terrible, but yeah. thank thank goodness he's okay. Yeah, that's that's the main thing you got. Yeah. So you can uh, start afresh. That's right. And this is from Ben. Mm-hmm. It says random thought, but I feel like it's overlooked that Morbius was in the PS2, PSP, Wii, and DS version of the tie-in game for Spider-Man Three in two thousand and seven. Well, that's how I was introduced to the character. Plus, whoever Shriek is, I know Shriek. Hashtag Weekly Planner. That big um, the big green guy. Yeah, something like that. Mm. Um. Yeah, that, I, an never, that I was a big uh, Spider-Man 2 fan of the video oh, yes. game, mm-hmm. obviously, but I never played 3 because I had, the reviews weren't great. And it was in that era where I didn't have a PS3 and it was on PS2, but the PS2 version isn't as good and, whatever, <laughs> and the reviews weren't great all around and whatever. So I never played that game. But, yeah, they would do a thing where, like, they'd throw in a bunch of villains that you wouldn't see in the actual movies, like there's shock. Yes, shockers that's in true, and a bunch yeah. Of stuff. And you'd get a, like, um, you'd, they'd often get, like, a, You'd either get classic look, yeah, or you'd be like, "Oh, this is a new version for this reality." Like, exactly. how, how, how they have they have they have they given us a new artistic kind of vibe? To like, it. let me just bring that up. Mm. Uh, Morbius Spider Man Three game. Here we go. How's he looking? But that's what I liked about the Spider Man PS Four game. It's like they were like, "Okay, here's, here's yes. some of the many of the classic villains, but how they're going to look in this universe?" Yeah, pretty hey. cool. There you go. Yeah, they went pretty yeah, yeah. classic okay, with yep. Is that chest hair or a gunshot? <laughs> I think it's a gun. I think it's blood. Wow. Mm. That's great stuff. Yeah. Really cool. Well, yeah, cool. All right, Morbius. That's how, I mean, you, know, you probably should just keep those memories and those are all the memories you need of that character. Memories. Wow. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Morbius, maybe Monthbius can live on in your heart. No. 
I'm cancelling month beers officially. Whoa. Is this a veto? Yes. Is this a veto on this, this long veto, running riff? Yes. All right. So you got how many do you have left then? I can't remember. A one or none. But it was I worth think, it. I think it's one. All right. Okay. <laughs> Folks, month beers is over forever. It's never coming back. <laughs> I can't bring it back. No, I think we'd have to do like a fresh, yeah, have to fresh take on fresh it. Fresh take. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, if there's one thing that Morbius cannot do, is a fresh take. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's done. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's next? So, oh, what's the end oh, of the show? Oh, I've got one more. Oh, okay, right. Here. Uh, says Jack Doe says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. You don't need to watch Dumb and Dumb. I mentioned last week that I've never oh, seen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. need to watch Dumb and Dumb because that's the show. <laughs> that's your show every week. Hashtag got him. Oh, oh, come on, mate. Come on, mate. That's actually a bit rude. I know you're making a joke, but that hurt, actually. Mm. I mean, we know we're not super intelligent by any stretch. Mm. Um, in any real world scenario, we fall apart. That's true. Like emotionally, physically, yeah, all of those being things. Being slapped. Being slapped, yeah. But we can do this, can't we? Yes. It's the one thing we can sort of do. I think so, sort of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, and I more reckon, the, more I, that you're bringing up, the I less I'm confident it, I am. I yeah. recommended that Prince of Persia video. Not everybody could do that. That's true. Who could do that? Some people don't. They can't speak. <laughs> That's no right. no capacity for speech. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. Anyways, Mason. How are you going to wrap the show up this ra- time? <laughs> how's <laughs> oh. it going to get out of this one, everybody? Take oh, a listen. Oh, my God. Here we go. Yeah. Bit of Dutch courage. There right we here. go. Here we go. It's Folks, a Sprite. For it's a Sprite. It's a Sprite. I'm drinking a Sprite. <laughs> Folks, thank you so much for listening to the podcast. Oh, we very uh, much oh, appreciate it, was, it. Um, it. was April Fool's this week. Did anything happen? I saw like a fake Sprite flavor. Oh, was it poop? poop yeah. It was poop and poop. farts? Yeah, it was just like we put a big shit in a can. Do you want it? April Fool, actually. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. They got us. Yeah, no. No, I think a lot of brands have realized that if they do that, they'll they'll get they got cancelled and murdered. Yeah, or, or that, yeah, they have to issue an apology because yeah. it's, <laughs> it's, it's like a weird, offensive thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, sorry, go on. Folks, thanks so much for listening. We do very much appreciate it. Uh, we do. Thank you for really uh, liking the podcast and subscribing on your podcast catcher of choice and uh, and telling your friends about it or leaving a five-star review on your podcast catcher of choice. James, you got any there? You know, I've got a couple here right for you, Mason, right here. This nice. Alexander Clearwater who says, grab that jam. Nice. Ha- five stars, by the way. You can just do this in app. It's mm-hmm. amazing. Took me a long time uh, to uh, realize that these guys were not talk- telling me to get to get a j- jar of, of spread for toast. Also, uh, we'll be pet- petitioning to be the official half brick wielding wizard hunter of the podcast. Five big stars. You got that? That's yours now. Absolutely. Right. Mm-hmm. This is from uh, Jedi for Jesus thirteen, who says, "Gross. Uh, you made me download Apple Podcasts to review you. I'm a pod. I'm a pocket cast guy." But just for you, I downloaded this on uh, this app on my on my phone. So in return, where's my spaghetti? Um, that's really that's up to you, actually. Yeah, I mean we don't. Yeah, we can't. Um, we don't. We don't know where the spaghetti. I mean, send your address if you want. Oh, just an envelope full of spaghetti. Yeah, we'll post we'll, pack full we'll of get spaghetti. You something your way. We'll send something yeah, your way. Put yeah, your yeah. address in the in the review. In the review <laughs> Imagine section. if you got a, like a notification from customs, and they're like, you're going to come in and collect this, and you're like, oh, what, did I order something exciting? All right. And they're like, you're going to come in, you've got to talk to some people, whatever, and then you have to negotiate it all out, and they hand you this polythene bag or whatever, and you zip it open, and you're like, oh, just a weird handful of spaghetti. That's interesting. Would you dig through it? Because you're like, oh, there's something Oh, maybe there's there. a maybe there's a, a beautiful ring in there or, or something. Or some cocaine, I don't know. Just loose cocaine and with the spaghetti? Yeah, absolutely. No, probably. Yeah. No, 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 no. Very good. Yeah. What's next? Uh, folks, uh, if you want to get into contact with the show, you can go to weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com, at Facebook, at Twitter, at Bandcamp. Yeah. Uh, you can go to the Planet Broadcasting Great Mates Facebook group. You can go to the Weekly Planet Pod at Discord and subreddit. Wow. Uh, if you want to follow some people on, oh, that, that's all for fun, fun, fun chats. You want to have oh, some fun totally chats about podcasts? Chats, yeah. You have some fun chats about pop culture? You better believe it. We insist you do it in there. Yes, yes, yes. But if yes, you want yes, to follow yes. some people, some interesting people, you should follow our friend Rob Collings, who uh, he edits this podcast. He edits all sorts of videos and all sorts of gets. He gets stuff done. He's on there on the. He's there on the reddits and the and the and the and the forums. All sorts of stuff. He's doing everything. He's That's right. He's, he's, people he's, often throw him a question on the reddit. They're like, "What are you up to?" You know, he sees all and he knows all, That's and, he, right. uh, and he keeps the wheels turning here. Don't test him though. But, yeah, don't do it. Yeah, because he will. <laughs> Test you right back by answering. <laughs> uh, you can follow him, him at Raw Collings on Twitter. You can follow him at The Weekly Planet on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter at Wikipedia Brown and on Instagram, Nick Meso. Yeah. It's all, it's all linked uh, in, in the thing. I would imagine James is Mr. Sunday Movies everywhere. Wow. Uh, if you want to support the show in some way, you can go to uh, patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. You can chuck in a buck or any amount you wouldn't miss. Chuck in 50 cents. Why, why not, hey? Why not? You can do that if you, if you like. If you can. I don't know. Maybe yeah, the minimum's a dollar. Maybe if, you, no maybe if you've... If you if you've lost your house in a fire, for example, yeah, no, don't do that. Don't no, worry about it. No, 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 no. no. Um, uh, you can also go to a big sandwich 
dot co you can uh, pay nine dollars per month nine us dollars and you get all sorts of bonus podcasts and early videos and all kinds of stuff having a great time it's true there. mate it yeah. is very true thank you to the brute and the basilisk and yeah. rack and for all our musical themes we're, we need a, we're going to do a commentary next week oh, uh, yeah. for recorder next week for big yeah. sandwich we haven't decided on anything yet so oh. what do you uh what, what do people let us want know us let, us know, yeah. let us know probably on the twitters mm. that's where we'll see it probably on the twitters that's right that's right yeah uh, if you want a, a, a t-shirt a weekly planet t-shirt go to tpublic.com Search for the Weekly Planet. That's right. Or go to Redbubble and search for Raw Bat, Bat and Bat. Yeah. Or Month Beers. Maybe there's a Month Beers based T-shirt somewhere out there. I mean, that's a relic now, isn't it? Yeah, it's a real, yeah, real, real collector's item. You know? I agree. Mm. Mm. Real collector's item from an infinitely printable on-demand T-shirt <laughs> service. <laughs> that's absolutely right. Yeah. Uh, next week, yes, Harry Potter something. Harry Potter something. I would never All say right. it. I would never say it if we didn't no, have to say it. I wouldn't. And I'm still like, do I even right. want to do it now? <laughs> I mean, but, we could watch Sonic. Yeah, we could watch Sonic, I guess. I didn't get a chance to see it this week. Yeah. But yeah, there you go. All right. Thanks, everybody. Oh, we could do Snake Eyes. Have we not, did we not do it this episode? No, no. I, I even had that reminder as well. And we yeah, it's in, yeah, wow. God, it flies by, doesn't it? Doesn't it, though? Like a Morbius. That's right. Like a big chip packet man <laughs> floating away <laughs> on the New York skyline or wherever he is. James, lives. we did the veto. You no, didn't. that's not a month oh, okay. joke. I can I can talk about okay. Morbius. I guess you can. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just yeah. It's no I mean, longer that's comic a, accurate. It's no longer yeah. a recognizable holiday. That's, that's true. Yeah. yeah. No, I okay. understand. All right. Thanks, everybody. You're a real month beast Grinch. You know. What did you say to me? Just you're a now? month beast Grinch. What did you just say to me? I said you're a month beast Grinch. Am I going house to house and tearing up month month beast calendars and t-shirts? You there, boy? <laughs> what day is it? Why it's month beast, which is a month, not a day. I'll kill you. There he is. All right, goodbye. Bye. Grab that, Jimmy, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye.